Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to Wreckfest. I've just realised I have not actually got myself set up properly with this one. I say set up properly. Uh, I am very professional and all of that. Uh, <laughs> uh, welcome, welcome all to some some Wreckfest antics. Well, so hopefully some some good Wreckfest antics. Uh, I'm going to give everybody a slight warning. I have had a massive headache on and off this evening. Currently, it seems to have buggered off. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to stay that way. But if it comes back, I will have to stop streaming, pretty much. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, just just going to give you all a, a brief little bit of a uh, of I think of, of a warning at the start of the start of this. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to jump into some more Wreckfest racing. It has been uh, good fun. It has been, I've been enjoying uh, running back around on um, on Wreckfest. Uh, I don't know. If, is my microphone? No, my microphone volume should be fine. Uh, <laughs> I don't know whether just overall it's a bit, uh, a bit quiet. I have no idea. Um, mate, it should be fine. It seems to be fine. The bars I have are moving to the usual area where they move to. That's that's just kind of how I guess work here. Uh, we shall see. Um, yeah, we're going to start off with the race at, uh, uh, at the Rattlesnake Race Park. Don't come here very often. As ever, this session is... Well, it's a public lobby. You are more than welcome to drop into the session as and when there are spaces. We will see how it goes, really. Um... Yeah, I'm st we start I was driving the rammer. I think it's okay on bumps. I think it's better than the uh whatever the Volvo Estate car. I've immediately forgotten the name of it. Uh Is it a Hammerhead? I think it's a Hammerhead RS maybe. I I I literally was driving it a second ago and then changed and it's just imme the information has immediately gone away. Well, that's a very kind spot on the grid at least. Uh my game volume is very quiet. I may have to turn the game volume up a little bit in OBS. Give me a shout. Uh, oh, I missed a gear while I was trying to reach for the volume control from a TV. Well, the speaker... Uh, yeah, but never mind. Uh, regardless, we are off. We are underway. Oh, please be good on the jumps, Rammer. Please be please be good here. Longboat has got that Nexus. Going to try and cut underneath us. I'm hoping I might have the traction defended off. Of course, the front-wheel drive Nexus uh, is pretty damn good around here. We are a bigger and heavier car, so if we park it on the apex, we can make it very difficult to overtake. Now, it'll work for a bit. It won't work indefinitely, though. There is a line down here to avoid the jump, but I don't quite know how it works, and I'm not going to risk it. I think Ninetales is trying to take it. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't, 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 just don't know this circuit very well. Uh, it was one of the latest circuits added to the game. Haven't driven it all too much. And, I mean, it's Ninetales. Of course, if someone is going to find a way past, it's going to be a nine tails here uh, Longbow is there having a look someone is, I think that was Ewan somehow managing to go right down a straight that's honestly quite impressive at that point find some traction nope <laughs> not quite, not quite I mean, it was quite a sideways line through there Longbow is going to try and take the lead away from nine tails, I'm going to try and duck underneath the pair of them not quite, uh, it's close I mean we're still, we're still in the fight for the moment uh, we're going to take a slightly different line through here. Oh, Longbow got sideways in the middle of the corner. I slightly panicked. I didn't want to end up in the door in Longbow, in the side of Longbow's car. Oh, that's the line to avoid the jump. Uh, okay. Knew there was a way to do it. I just didn't know what it was at the moment. Longbow is going to get a tap through there. <laughs> oh, going to try desperately and stay with the lead pack. Maybe I want fourth down this section. Not sure. Uh, I mean, the car... It's carrying decent speed, but uh, there we go. Gliska is up the inside into turn one. Don't go so sideways, Rammer. Uh, normally, the Rammer pretty good in terms of uh, in terms of traction. At the moment, we are not quite. Well, I mean, we're not sure it's the traction, although we are quite we're quite good through that corner. That is definitely one of the faster corners for us. Hello, dog. Uh, you've come to sniff my knee, apparently. What do you want, mate? Uh, you were having fusses before we started. You can't have fusses all day long, as much as you would love to. Uh, ooh, not really got that corner right there. Trying to get the change of direction. Uh, did not go well. This has again fired it to the inside of Longbow, but cannot quite complete a pass down there. We are going to ooh, run wide on the exit ooh, and find something that's bumpy and uncomfortable. Well, <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> that's, that's absolutely what we wanted to hit. 
Yeah, we just don't have the speed here. Whether it is the car, whether it is my driving, whether it's a combination of both, quite possibly. Uh, definitely do not have the speed at this circuit. Maybe we should have brought the trophy truck. Uh, the trophy truck is normally quite good over the bumps around here, but I don't think it's going to be quick enough in the corners. It's about the one corner where our car is quite good. Uh, is through there. We are able to carry a lot of momentum. I don't know whether we could try a similar line through here. We can't at the moment because we're going to get stuck out wide by the green Stella. We, eh, it's a bit better through there than we have been so far. Uh, we, <laughs> so we essentially make that into a little bit of a chicane down there. Never really very good at this final corner. Well, I mean, maybe if we try to take it a much tighter line on the way in, might, might work. Don't know. Ninetales continue to run away at the front. Uh, we are back in the fight for fourth. Uh, can we do? Do we have? Do we have enough momentum to have a dive into turn one? Don't think so. Going to try and just neaten it up a little bit here. Oh. Oh. Uh, slightly locked the front brake <laughs> going into that corner. All is mostly fine. We're going to have to make up the time again in this turn here. If we can get the rammer down to the bottom of the corner, which we do. We'll draw alongside the Stella, but we're on the wrong side here. This is a long way round at this section. Oh, there is a stuck Finland ball there. We're going to cut underneath. It's a good line. However, oh, I can't get across. My car has <laughs> crossed up. And there was no way I was moving that acro across to the left. Or if I did, I was just going to end up losing more time. Uh, not quite finding a way past. Oh, and that one there. Yeah, that line... We struggled on through there. Once again, got stuck out way too wide. That's lost a heap of time. Bugger. Uh, <laughs> we were, it was looking good, and then it wasn't. The end of that lap has got a little bit awry. I mean, I'm, I'm really trying to just stop the rammer from sliding about at the moment. And it works in a couple of places. Some other play. Oh, the Stella's in trouble. The Stella's had an <laughs> all, that, all that fighting. And it is a wonky bounce on the landing that has cost them a lot on this final lap of the race. That is that is very unfortunate. It's how it goes sometimes in Wreckfest, how it goes sometimes in racing. Yeah, just one iffy landing is going to cost two or three places by the looks of it. Uh, we are over the jump. Oh, that might be a bit too big of a jump there. I think I've got to tap the brakes before I actually get it to the jump. In this car, at least. Others may be able to do it differently. Nine tails, unsurprisingly, really. Nine tails is across the line for victory. Looks like Longbow will get second. Gliska is third. We could only manage fourth. There was... Uh, uh, I don't think there was much more we could have done in that one. Similar lap time to Gliska when we figured it out. Um, yeah, not much. I don't think I had much more speed in that. Nine tails too quick. Uh, Longbow a little bit too fast. Very close... Uh, Stevie was flying with the uh, with the Raven there, but probably stuck in traffic. Uh, <laughs> Casey are unlucky, unlucky with the bump uh, through there. You would be eighth. Lado would be ninth. Giraffe rounding out the top ten in this one. Cyberaxel DNF didn't see what I saw the car actually. Didn't really see what happened to uh, cause it to go out of the race. And there we go. Uh, <laughs> It happens sometimes. Drake, thank you very much for the donation, by the way. Uh, saying tonight we go to wreck more cars on Wreckfest. That is true. Uh, uh, ra racing tonight, how will we fare as we see hearses take on Deathloop? Well, Stevie might. Some, I don't have a hearse. I don't intend to use them. Someone might take on a Deathloop with a hearse. Uh, buses jumping around on Wrecknado. Possible. Possible. And uh, Alec pitting loos and sofas against each other on figure eight Bluefield. Uh, they never actually... I, I don't really like racing them. Uh, they're not actually that exciting. Uh, P.S. True Cult of 1P. Indeed, the Cult of 1P is here, at least, although they're still, like, double 69, so I feel like that wins at the moment. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like... Occasionally, the toilets occasionally turning up is funny. Racing them against, they're actually just not very exciting most of the time. I'm not sure. Uh, have we ever had an exciting, exciting toilet race? Probably somewhere. I just can't think of where off the top of my head. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, let's go bone break. Uh, uh, no, let's go somewhere a little bit crazier. I say let's go somewhere a little bit crazier than Crash Canyon. He's eh, not necessarily. You know what? Let's go with a death loop. If someone wants to drive a hearse, they are welcome to. If not, um, then, then so be it. Um, 
so so be it. What am I going to drive around? And the Ram is probably not bad. It's going to be the Ram or the Hammerhead. Road Cutter is fast but too unpredictable on the jumps. Um, so yeah, the Road Cutter is astonishingly fast in the loop, but its chances of doing something weird on the landings of the jumps are quite um, funky. So it's just, it's just not worth it. The Hammerhead, I know, is just a solid race car. One of my preferred race cars on this game handles nicely, and uh, yeah, it handles nicely. It go it, it generally quite fast. I can gen generally drive it fairly well. I say generally, because you know, chances are, chances are, I'm not going to do so well. But like, I don't, I don't want, don't want to. Um, don't want to raise your expectations uh, <laughs> unnecessarily. Now, the rules we generally have here is you've got to take the loop if at all possible. Honestly, in normal cars, you're going to want to. The loop is slightly faster than avoiding it. With the speed that these vehicles will be able to get to, uh, the loop will be no problem. If you get nudged heading towards the loop, you get bumped away, you are probably best off. Uh, going the alternate route, falling off of the loop is bad. Uh, so, yeah. But most most vehicle, most people are going to want to take the loop if at all, if you can, because it's just faster. It's just faster over the course of a lap. Uh, Ax Axavio, I don't know how to pronounce the name. I do apologise, but thank you very much for the for the donation. It is uh, very much appreciated indeed. Uh, what do we got in terms of vehicles? Lots of normal. Oh god, didn't even have time. Mostly normal stuff. Didn't really see anything. Didn't see anything particularly crazy. Um, but there we go. We are off and underway. We are again towards the back. Lado is going to fire up the inside. I'm hopefully going to get underneath on the exit. Shadow got spat out sideways. Oh, Lado's going to fall off that jump. That is why I. I mean, I don't normally end up across there. Jesus, that super venom went very quickly, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it could not get stopped for the hairpin. Yeah, I saw how many vehicles there were going to be down there. Oh, Ewan's in a world of pain. And just figured going down the, the second, like, route for the, the jumps was going to be the safest bet. Rather than try and all cram on the same route, get pushed off. As you saw, Lado got into a whole heap of trouble. Lost stacks of time. It's just not worth it. Uh, we are, oh, underneath Lado. Gliska with maybe a little bit of a lag spin. That looked weird. Uh, I don't quite know how that ended up going around. I didn't know if Gliska got tagged by somebody. I didn't see it, but uh, it's possible they got tagged, possible they got lagged. Uh, could have been either. Oh, Valentine has got over in front of everybody. We are going to make up some positions. Uh-oh. We are going this way, Stevie. Well, I didn't want to go this way. However, we, <laughs> we had a dive. Uh, we got big oversteer, and then as we caught it, uh, we got caught in trouble, basically. Uh, we've lost some of the positions. But that's why you don't want to really avoid the jump unless you avoid the loop unless you don't have a choice. We didn't have a choice. I wasn't going fast enough in my car to make that one. So we had to go and take well, some kind of avoiding action here. All right, up the ramps we go uh, toward... I mean, we're still 7th. It's not too bad, all things considered. We are to the inside of Valatane here. Uh, well, we're in, inside of Valatane, inside a shadow. It is not a bad run for us. Now, what are the lead... Where are the leaders going to appear on this loop is the question. Through the gears! Oh, Lado hit Gliska. Gliska got very lucky by the looks of it. I think Bumpy may have been disintegrated. The <laughs> pink muscle car is... I think out of it, Ewan's overhead. Thankfully, these are going quick enough that they jump over stuff at that section. Otherwise, well, in fact, we would have been hit twice. We would not be still functioning, I don't think, had we been hit at that jump in that manner. So, <laughs> here we go. Oh, this is going to go to the inside. It's a good pass. If they can stop it in time, which they do, I was going to try and cut underneath, but which I could not make work. I don't know if the Hammerhead is the best vehicle around here. I struggle a little bit too much with straight line speed in this. However, it's just so nice to drive. I can't pass up the opportunity to drive it. Oh, whoever that is, you are one lucky, lucky car. Uh, Gliska with a little bit of oversteer over there. Uh, we will fight back past, although Gliska will now be on the inside for turn one. Uh, we will give plenty of space. Oh, and we survive on that wider line. Yeah, whoever that was. It might be Finland, actually. Uh, not sure. Ooh. This is again going to get underneath, although bounces off the curb and will be fired out wide. We Oh, it's getting very busy in this little group. I don't know where the leaders were. 
in all of that. <laughs> like, <laughs> my car is so bad on the loop. Not much I can really do about that. Stevie's car is definitely much better on the loop. My car is better in the corners. Theirs are much better at the straight line speed stuff. Whee! Stevie is harassing us. <laughs> Right, we are into turn one. Let's not do anything silly through here. Valentine is right there. So our car is kind of holding everyone up because we are so fast in the corners. But, oh, nearly landed on nine tails. But I've just got no straight line speed for the loop. And as everyone is fighting one another, that is bunching the pack up. Uh, what way is Finland going to go? We're going to try and sneak to the inside here. Stevie's car, look at how much speed that gets on the loop. And it's been killed by a Ewan. Oh, crap. We've killed the Nine Tails, and then Valentine has murdered us. It was going to happen at some point. <laughs> it was a final lap of the race as well. Ah, oh, we were fighting so well for the podium. It was going to be an epic finish. I mean, <laughs> well, well, we took Nine Tails out of a potential victory. Nine Tails took us out of a potential podium. I'm not really sure. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> That's unfortunate. The two hammerheads of all the vehicles, the hammerhead friendly fire occurred. God damn it. Yeah. I mean, it was a fun battle. We had a fun race. Um, we had a fun race at the end. But, yeah. So, while the cars do go fast enough to jump over, Ninetales was a long way uh, across, essentially, which meant we were always going to... Any car in the city where we were was going to be coming down. I don't know whether Stevie actually hit. Uh, Stevie fell to 10th, which makes me think Stevie may have also been involved in that crash somehow. I didn't really see what happened to the Gorby. But uh, I'm going to guess Stevie, if, if, if it wasn't me that hit, Stevie was going to hit anyway. That's unfortunate for Night Tales, <laughs> unfortunate for us. Gliska, the one that comes out the best and uh, gets themselves on to the podium. In fact, it was the same podium as the first race, just a slightly different order. Uh, SF Mason, thank you very much for the super chats, by the way. So I do enjoy Wreckfest here. Uh, been practicing on a very fast Class C server. Uh, I, 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 I like this game. It's good fun. There are some genuinely very, very quick... There's genuinely very good racing can be had on this one, which is always nice. Uh, also, house purchase paperwork has arrived f at final pieces... Sh so it could be moving. Ah, well, fantastic. That is uh, that is good to hear. I'm not far away from that as well myself. So, <laughs> yeah, um, that is that is good to hey, good to hear. Best of luck uh, with all of that fun stuff. I do hate paperwork myself. It sucks. But <laughs> it sucks. I hate doing it. I am terrible at it. it but uh, yeah, it is also an important part of life, I guess. Uh, what do we want for this circuit? Hammerhead's normally pretty solid around this track. Uh, I mean, for this track, my options really are... I mean, I have a Gorby, but I mine is horrible. Well, I say mine's horrible. I like the track, so you know what? We're going to give it a try. It's not built for... This. What was it built for? I don't even remember what my Gorby was built for. Judging by the armor, I'm guessing it was built as a... It's might have been built as a King of the Hill car. Probably. Uh, I think. I think. I think the Gorby was built as a King of the Hill car. I can't remember if it was ever actually used. Whether whether it was dropped out of being used. Whether it was used in a video and I've forgotten. We film a lot of videos. I forget what I film sometimes. Especially when we film stuff, test stuff. And I can't remember what was the one that actually made it into a video. So, well, uh, anyone who does remember if the Gorby was actually used, good work. Uh, <laughs> he's smarter than me, basically. Uh, yeah, I love this track, though. Uh, I know not everyone likes it. It is one of my preferred tracks in this game, actually. I don't know whether the car's going to be any good here, though. Uh, it could be abs It could be great. I mean, judging by the stats, the fact that it had one handling makes me concerned. But I also don't really listen to the stats very much. Because I'm not sure how accurate they are some of the time. But we shall see. We shall see in uh, in this one. Well, uh, Kezia is trying the old uh, run in the C-Class. If you're going to run in the C-Class car, the Raiden is probably the one to go to around here. They'd probably be quite competent. Uh, to be fair, this is this is a mostly twisty and, uh, and turny circuit. So straight line speed isn't too... Ooh, 
significant. Uh, I say getting in the car with no handling stats and a really high acceleration and top speed stat. Well, we shall see how it goes. Uh, we, I mean, we've got very good acceleration out of that corner, but uh, I'm pushing Shadow. Shadow, we need to give you. A, I'm giving you a hurry up bump here. Uh, there might be a way to get past. Oh God, Stevie in a very big car. Ugh. Big cars are scary when you're in a fit. Well, actually, I've got a decent chunk of armor. We won't get pushed around too much. We should have the acceleration out of here. Lado leads the way. Uh, oh, going to bump Stevie slightly through there. Uh, we are on the outside for the final quarter. I take a very wide line. My hope was... Oh, Giraffe, well, <laughs> Giraffe was always likely to do that, let's be honest here. Can I be early enough on the brakes? Oh, flicked the car a little bit too much. Yeah, we, so I was trying to go a bit earlier on the brakes to kind of get underneath a Stevie, but uh, not quite going to work. I mean, I actually quite like... It's a bit snappy, I think. It's a bit too snappy for me, this vehicle. We might be able to get to the inside of Stevie here, though. The acceleration I like makes overtaking sometimes that a little bit easier. Oh, because uh, you can just kind of boot it. Oh, that was very close to the indestructible, incredibly solid tyres. Bumpy's visiting some tyres there. Got away. Bumpy's so close to impaling that. Oh, there's impalement going on over there. Uh, we are going to the inside down at turn one. We're going to get a little tag from Stevie, but that's nothing too bad. Or we'll spin the wheels up in excitement to get out of the first corner. Uh, and all is kind of okay for now. What can we do about fighting Bumpy here? I uh, don't know if there's going to be... Uh, oh, there's not going to be any way past on this lap. We're a little bit too wide down here as well, which isn't great. Gorby, find some traction, please. Uh, <laughs> I think at a different circuit, this car might not be too bad. Ewan doing their best motorbike impression. Bumpy getting very close to the wall again. Gliska also got very close to the wall. Ewan's gone into the wall at a weird angle. Not quite sure how you've managed that one, Ewan, but well done. That was honestly quite impressive. Uh, Stevie all over the back of us still having a look. That purple... Is, it a, is that a rammer? Is that what Stevie's in? I think maybe. Uh, don't know. Not sure. Uh, oh, we're very, very oversteery through there. And Stevie is going to have a look to the inside. We may be able to... No, it's not a rammer. I've forgotten what one that is. But... Uh, there we go. We will try. We want to try and hold it there for as long as possible, which we do. And that'll put us back up into sixth place. Bumpy versus Gliska in front. Oh, huge snap of oversteer. Really struggling with the oversteer in this car. Uh, it desperately wants to go sideways at times. We've visited Stevie's door a few times, if I'm being honest. Gliska is still trying to fend off from <laughs> Bumpy. Bumpy's got some serious pace around this circuit. Uh, twitchy, slidey mobile here. Can we set... Uh, oh, Gliska's got that big twitch of oversteer somewhere. Now it's Gliska versus Stevie. We may be able to profit if they slow each other down like that. Uh, can we profit to pass Stevie? No. There may be a gap somewhere around here. Come on, Gorby. Use that acceleration. We've not quite got the overlap that we were looking for down there. There's a Gorby-sized gap on the inside, which we will use to sneak a pass on Stevie. It's been a little bit... Uh... Oh, God, don't want to go into the rear of Gliska. We're on the final lap of the race. Uh, Gliska is clinging on for dear life in that car. Uh, it also does not look particularly easy to drive. Oh, it's bumped the wall on the inside. We might have the acceleration here on the wide line because we're the inside for the chicane. But that is difficult to carry enough speed. There's, oh, I try to get underneath Gliska. Couldn't do it. Ewan's Nexus is here. We tried everything we could for that one, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That car is so twitchy, so difficult to drive. I mean, it's fast. The Gorby definitely... I think on a different circuit, that Gorby could be quite good. The Nexus is very, very quick. Um, but yeah, I think on a different track, that Gorby could be legit very, very fast, uh, as it was. I'm sure someone else could probably drive it quickly. I just I just can't. I just can't get the speed out of that car because it's, it's, too, it's too snappy. Uh, to really work for me. Uh, but uh, there we go. Nine tails would take victory. Longbow second. Lado is on the podium in third. We saw Lado kind of run away at the start a little bit. And uh, did get caught, but still got on the podium. Bumpy was up in fourth. Uh, that road slayed pretty damn quick, actually. Gliska held on to fifth just ahead of me. Ewan, uh, Casey, a giraffe. And Crane would round out the top ten. Not quite sure what happened to Stevie 
uh, at the end of on that final lap. Obviously, a mistake somewhere must have dropped the uh, Raven back a little bit. Ah, oh. yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's a twitchy, twitchy car. Um, Ah, oh, Longbow made a little bit of a, a little bit of a mistake at the end and lost out to to, <laughs> to Nine Tails. Uh, Nine Tails' fastest lap was incredibly quick. I mean, we were always expecting it, um, but uh, there we go. Right, where shall we head? Where shall we go next? I mean, we'll have an uh, you know what? We'll have an early hell ride. For those of you who are in the stream, nice and early, it's always always good to have you here, of course. We have an early hell ride. Eight, la eight laps is madness. Do we normally run eight laps? I think, meh. Eight laps is always going to be tough. Uh, eight laps of hell ride in B-class cars. It really does throw up the conundrum slash question of what on earth do you run? So the general rules for this, as ever, are you must take the jump. Okay. Now, if you get forced off of the ramp, if there are three vehicles heading towards you and you have no other option, of course, you can buy. I'm gonna, oh, do I reckon the Gorby's going to be good on the landings? It's going to be very fast in a straight line. We're going to try it. I'm going to risk it. Um, but yeah, you must take the jump. You must take the jump. Unless, you know, extenuating circumstances, of course. There is a good chance there's only a few... Um, vehicles finish i mean we're talking three or four is not unheard of around here uh normally with cars it's not as bad as when it's buses but you never know we will give it a try oh, he's got the, the drag slayer do i have i have a drag do i have a drag slayer on pc or do i have a drag slayer on here hey maybe my drag slayer is a class so I thought I've used a drag slayer, but it might be. It is either on the PC version I have one, which is possible, or I have it for A class. And I, but I very rarely run A class. Oh, game. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. No, we're good. No. <laughs> game was just having a little bit of a little bit of a heart attack. Just a small bit of a death. Doug, what are you sniffing so much? Are you surprised the fact that I hoovered the carpet in here? I hoover the carpet in here, and then the next day, you fill it full of dog hair. Actually, no, it's Cassie's fault as well. Hey, buddy. You don't need to sniff my ear now. My ear is clean. I had a shower this morning. I did. What are you doing? It's race time. Doggo distraction. Sorry, dog. Sorry, Apollo. It's, it's racy time. We've got to pay attention now. Uh, no, pause off. Apollo, you've got to be good boy now. Uh, you are normally good dog, but at this particular... Oh, crap. Oh, for God's sake. That's not even Apollo's fault, that one. Uh, we had too many cars trying to fit up there. Oh, and that was always going to end in disaster. I saw what was happening, and I tried desperately to get my vehicle off to the side, but it was not going to happen. Well, that's a good start. I don't know if we're really going to find out how strong, how fast the Gorby is, because I fear we're going to end up dying a bit too quickly. Oh, a little bit of a lag punt on Stevie. Oh, that's bad. The hearse is having a bad day. The Gorby's having a bad day. Yep, well, I found the, uh, the answer to the question of, will the Gorby be good around here? No, probably not. <laughs> well, I guess we had to find out. Uh, God, this is awful. This is the worst. No, this is literally the worst start you could... Well, not quite the worst start. I guess there was a car wrecked on the side immediately. But we are under half health, and I don't think my vehicle... Um, he's going to be able to take this jump properly. I mean, it might be able to, but... Uh, oh, that's close. Uh, I guess we'll try it again. So, Ninetales is, is leading. There is Ewan with that drag slayer. I feel like it's, it's frustrating, because I feel like this car is... Oh! Uh, um, well, you know what? You can go down there. <laughs> well, that's an unusual way to pass. Not going to lie. Uh, okay, so what if we do that? Okay, that worked. Uh, we didn't really lose any health, so we kind of keep it in second uh, down there uh, to that jump, and that's about the right sort of speed for the car to land and not overshoot the landing. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> we did. We took undertaking to a whole new meaning right there against Gerard. Oh, Ewan's drag slayer's got that weird suspension that's really fast on the loop, but uh, 
may be questionable elsewhere. Stevie's fallen over. So is someone else. I'm not sure who that is. Uh, can I guess Kezia has fallen over? Uh, we can run up on the bank. There's a lot of fire coming out of the back of my vehicle here. So I'm... I'm sorry to the to the rev limiter, but I think this is how much speed I need to actually land properly. Oh, okay, yeah. The only problem is, of course, other cars that do land properly can carry more speed there. Oh, Lado is having an issue. No, no, Lado, Lado's having some lag. That's fine. That's slightly different problems to the <laughs> issues I thought Lado's truck was having. Hmm. Okay, we are off the wall there. So, I mean, Ninetales has a massive lead. I think it's Ninetales that's coming over this jump as we head up towards it most of the time. Uh, oh, no, Ninetales has lost a whole heap of time. Uh, Ninetales may have been involved in an accident somewhere. We are sixth. Uh, but I don't think my car is making it to the end at the moment. Oh, Lado with an absolutely massive smash on there. Gliskert with a big crash as well. I am going to just minimize my airtime to try and survive to the end of the race. I feel like that might actually be the new goal. Uh, <laughs> the new, I say the new goal. The goal is always to finish. My vehicle is not strong enough. It's quick, but it's definitely not strong enough on that section. So I may have to go to the lesser known Alex is sensible strategy of not go flat out over the jump to try and preserve my car here. Uh, there is a Ewan is still circulating at the moment. Oh crap! Oh crap! It's fine. Ooh, it's, yeah, it's fine. Nine Tails is remarkably healthy. Stevie is about to be unhealthy, I think. I saw how twisted that hearse <laughs> was in the air. That is far from ideal. Uh, right there. Yeah, that's lost a wheel or something or other. Right, we are going break, 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 break. Now, Lado may just jump over us if that's the case, so be it. This is the price we're going to have to pay to make it to the finish line, I think. Uh, we are still ahead of the truck for now. The... Is the little thrasher? Is that? No, that might be the trophy runner. Not sure. I think it's the trophy runner, actually, looking at it. Uh, but we sit in third. Valentine is some six seconds ahead. I'm, at the moment, I'm not really worried about lap time here. Uh, the It's... Oh, no. Oh, for God's sake, we just clipped the end of that. Well, never mind. Now the race is probably done. Uh, we're down to three wheels. And, yeah, it's it's probably done there. Oh, for God's sake. I, don't even, uh, I guess we've probably taken damage over time. Uh, so that when we came off of that banking, we were, we were running close to the end, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, right, well, Night uh, come on. We are still technically going in this. No, Lado's also down. I don't have any steering left. Ugh. Yeah, I'm struggling with very poor steering at the moment. We are... Look, look at the state of my character at this at this point. The uh, the driver's seat is not at an angle where it should be. So Lado's on three wheels. I'm on three wheels. Um, Stevie, I'm amazed, is still going. But we know that... Well, the hearse is very strong. We know the hearse has an awful lot of life. Um, oh, we are going to... Just about make it. So, yeah, Ninetales with a big lead. That is Ninetales heading towards us. Ninetales has managed to stay out of trouble somehow in all of this. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, my car just randomly steers. I am a very... Uh, I am not making... I'm, I'm not making it to the finish line. It's, <laughs> it's going to take a miracle if we do. I think Stevie might be out. I think Lado may be the last running car. Lado may be eliminated, or maybe Ewan is just going quicker at the moment. I don't know. Uh, we are up to fourth. There is Ewan. Oh, God. Well, there's Stevie. Yeah, so Stevie's eliminated. Uh, come on. <laughs> come on, Corby. All you've got to do is, I guess, make it around here this lap, and there's one more after that. Uh, one more after this. I mean, we could maybe cheese a podium. We need one more vehicle ahead to go out for us to cheese a podium, uh, which would be lovely, but it would it would be unlikely, I think. Is the is 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 the is the oh god steering my steering just doesn't work. Uh, can we get up here? We can. Uh, not very well, but we are up on the jump. Ewan is catching very quickly. Uh, my control issues are massive at the moment. The, the Corby has a mind of its own. It does its own thing when it wants. It, every so often, it just steers on its own, or in this case, doesn't steer. 
to use the banking to turn it. Ewan is catching us. There's very little I can do about that, really. Oh, no, that's an AI car, and it's killed us. I haven't got the, I haven't got the brakes or the steering left to do anything about it. We're out. Four cars are going to finish at this rate. I mean, Ewan's got barely any health, but Ewan does have a full accompaniment of wheels, which does make life easier for them. Uh, yeah, the wreck of a car. Well, not the wreck of a car, sorry. An AI car that had crossed the finish line is the one that, uh, the one that took us out. Ewan has lost the last of the wheels. Please DNF. Oh, it would have been so funny if Ewan had DNF'd at that point, but they didn't. Four cars would make it to the finish line. The Gorby, not a great choice. Well, Small Man's didn't even finish a lap. That's not great. I feel like it could be quick. I feel like the Gorby could be fast around there if it wasn't for the fact that it just can't land that jump. It's, it may have been just one time unlucky. I can't guarantee, but it certainly didn't give me the impression that at any point that that was going to go particularly well. So, yeah. Uh, uh, J-Ro, thank you very much indeed uh, for the super chat, by the way. It is uh, it is very much appreciated indeed. Uh, there wasn't a message with that one. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the race. I hope everyone enjoyed what was, definitely, technically speaking, a race. Uh, right, Hill Street Circuit. I like this track. Uh, shall we go C class? Sure. Let's 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 go have a go with some C class. Um, yeah, I like this track. It's challenging circuit with just a little chance of chaos, <laughs> for want of a better way of phrasing it. Uh, do we use a gremlin or do we use a bulldog? Those are the real questions. The Raven is a king of the hill car. Um, I've never had much luck. I've never. I've really never had much luck when it comes to building the bigger cars on this game. It's always the smaller cars. And some people, uh, I, mean, I say some, some people uh, can build better. Probably some people can drive better. Let's face it. Um, I can't seem to get the bigger cars to work. I just tend to do better with, with these. Um... Ah, oh, did the did the game not load the map change? It, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to be honest. No, it did load the map change. That's fine. Uh, shouldn't shouldn't be having any um, map glitches. Although this is Wreckfest, you never know. Uh, unlikely to see much in the way. I mean, you, you'll probably see a couple of cars DNF out of this, uh, owing to the crossover point. But this is generally not a particularly high rate of attrition circuit. I uh, normally get some normally get some good racing around here. Uh, the Bulldog is much more of a handling car. Uh, handles great. Lack of straight line speed. That the fail race way. <laughs> really. Not really the way I intended to go, but it's definitely the way I tend to get more more lap time out of a car. Uh, much better off with the old handling machines. Uh, Sunrise Super we know is fast. Gremlin, a gremlin I know it's fast, because I have one. Rockets can be quite good. My rockets, yeah. <laughs> I have a rocket. It's probably just not the best built one. Uh, we are off, and we are underway once again. Uh, we all fan out towards the first corner. We don't want to be on the outside, but not really much that we can do about that from our starting position. Uh, we are going to be alongside all of the ping in, in, in the form of Longbow. We are going to go three wide down here. I mean... Yeah, there wasn't really much oh, much I could do. We actually got out of that one quite nicely uh, into the braking zone down here. We will head up onto two wheels. Bulldog may well have the grip and traction it does to fire us out the other side, move up a couple of places. So we've had a pretty good start uh, as we climb the hill. Oh, don't, don't want to hit those. I guess they'll be out of the way for next lap. Uh-oh. Uh Valentine is across in front of the pack. That's unfortunate. We're going to hopefully keep our nose ahead of Small Man, and we do. It looks like it's Lado versus Bumpy. It's Team Boat up ahead. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if Lado is playing for the boat. I presume not uh, at the moment. But uh, there we go. Oh, that is a dive bomb and a half. That's not quite going to work. 
not quite going to come off. Uh, it'll be a long side, but I think we will outrun down this next straight, which we do. This next corner, barely a breaking zone. You kind of just tip, the, especially C-Class, barely a breaking zone. We're now on the outside of a bumpy. Might be able to pull this off if we don't get caught at the crossover point. Oh, <laughs> oh that's close. That was a clench right there. That was uh, a big clench. As we head up the hill now, we are on the outside of a bumpy. Where is that pink vehicle going to be? Oh, about there. Well, <laughs> I, I, I completely lost sight of where it was. Oh, the bulldog can run across the uh, curbs there and doesn't have a bad day. Uh, yeah, so I'm amazed that amazed that it was bumpy that went round and not us from that because, uh, yeah, that was... That was a hit right in the rear corner, and it somehow spun bumpy and did absolutely nothing to me. Uh, we will pass a Lado on the exit of turn one. It puts us up to fifth now. I uh, don't know where Ninetales is. I presume in second. Can we run that curb? Well, yes, but it's a little sketchy. Going to have to be careful on that curb, I think. <laughs> we can run the other ones, or at least we have been running the other ones quite well. Uh, I'm hoping we can go behind those two, which we do. Ninetales has taken the lead. The Raiden has had an accident. I'm going to presume got hit on the crossover point. Uh, it is is—it's always difficult. I say it's always difficult leading the race, actually. But at this point, when the field starts getting spread out, it's dangerous in a lot of different places. You, sometimes you just get lucky. Sometimes you do not. Uh, Bulldog, great over that curb. We can <laughs> You can see how much Ewan's car hates that curb. So we can definitely be more aggressive than a lot of cars through there. We are up a position, but our lack of straight line speed shows down here as Stevie is going to go to the inside. Will Stevie be able to carry the speed through this corner to be able to match the Bulldog? Nope. <laughs> we are going to have to... Oh, we're going to have to be held out wide here, which I don't really want to be. Uh, nope, we're fine. We've got the speed. We've got the momentum. Oh, the Raiden's in the wall. Oh, not again. Uh, we are actually out. <laughs> we... No, we can't move. Ah, oh, we keep hitting nine tails on crossovers. It's really frustrating. I thought we could get ahead of that one. I thought we were going to be ahead of nine tails on that one. However, that is the end of us. It took both right-hand side wheels off of us. I'm amazed Nightales didn't go. I mean, Nightales may have. Nightales may have thought they were go. Either thought they were going behind, or they may not have thought they were going to hit. I, you know, I wouldn't want to go into that hit uh, as the leader because you just don't know what's going to happen to a car. Uh, you don't want to happen to your car in that one. As it is, it screwed us over completely. Uh, it's really frustrating because we had an incredibly strong car for this race. We probably had the second fastest car around this track. That's really annoying. It was doing so well. We had such a great climb through the field as they now now try to dodge us uh, through this section. Oh, well, we got clipped by <laughs> by Kezia, which has actually moved us into a safer look. We've got a great viewpoint if there is any... Well, I guess we get spectator camera now. Um, so that's something. But, uh, yeah, that's just really frustrating, that one. It's what, hap it's what happens on this... Um, what happens on this circuit is just unfortunate that... Uh, it <laughs> If I had any luck at all uh, on Wreckfest, it would be astonishing because this is the last couple of streams have just gone like this. It's just been awful luck after awful luck. I mean, like that the one there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, if, if no one would have jumped all the brakes, but uh, yeah. Oh, well. What can you do at this point? Uh, can we get a leaderboard? Nope. No, today we don't. Oh, no, wait. It's, uh, no, wait. That one. Now, there we go. We can get a leaderboard. I remember what we're doing. Uh, it is Nine Tails that's leading the way. This is the battle for third. Stevie having to have a uh, dodge on the climb up the hill here. Uh, it looks like. I mean, Gliska's got more company from Longbow, although Stevie's a bit wide at the top of the hill here. Uh, is anyone going to have the car to jump the curbs? Gliska's giving it a try. It gets a bit launched, but uh, it's not too bad. It is almost up the inside. There is some some prying of the door. Stevie's got turned. Might still make third, or did Longbow steal? Longbow stole it at the end. Stevie got a tag, um, and it just <laughs> that was uh, a hell of a podium steal right there from from Longbow right at the death. 
Uh, Lombo was able to get past as Stevie and Gliska got tangled up in all of that. Uh, Lado, unfortunately, kind of dropped down a little bit. Tristar not quite working around that track whatsoever. Ah. Uh, well, there were, as I said, there might be a couple of DNFs. Sadly, I was one of them. Giraffe DNFed immediately. Not sure what happened there. That is unfortunate, potentially. Um, but there we go. Yeah, ah, well. <laughs> Race just did not go to plan. Um, did, did not go to plan whatsoever around, around that one. Um, Bulldog, though, was very good. Was very good. I do like that car. Um, how fast could it have gone? I don't know. We were always battling, I think, uh, through the laps that we did have from what I remember. So probably more speed in that. Considerably more speed in that one. But, oh well. Right. Shall we move on? We shall. We shall move on to... Uh, screw it. Why not? Dirt Devil Stadium. Six laps around here. Uh, kind of a, a mix. A mix of silly... Circuit this one. It's not the. It's it's not a full on crazy track, but it's also not exactly sensible. So for want of a better, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you do want a bit of health. Might go for my gremlin. On this one, but it's it. If the crashes you're going to have on this circuit almost doesn't matter. You don't really have small crashes on this. Um, so if we have a heavily armored car, I think you likely just roll down the road. Um, But, yeah. Ah oh, well, we'll get we'll get we'll get a go with it. As I said, I know the, I know the the Gremlin is also it's just a quick race car, um, but we shall we shall see what might occur in this one. Uh, I doubt we're going to see too many heavyweights here. As I said, it's not re it can can be quite destructive as the race goes on, uh, but it's not really. Uh, Almost vehicle collisions. Falling off the map is a problem. Not falling well, off the map, but uh, bouncing off the side of the track in, in a couple of places can be can be uh, time consuming, for want of a better word. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can. Hopefully, um, we can bring something. Bring something good. Um, Who knows? Uh, what's the, what we got? Well, Longbow was taking on the ground. Longbow, <laughs> unfortunately for Longbow, because of Canada Net Ping, uh, can only use certain cars because of the, the kind of delay. Uh, so Longbow will always have very, very good handling cars. Killer B, I mean, <laughs> that might that might explode into pieces. Could be fast. Lado's trying a Gorby here. Uh, probably work better around this track than in the, than, than my B-class one. There's another Firefly. Nine Sales has the old Matador, it's a big truck. Uh, oh, we're quite a long way, we are quite a long way back. Uh, well, I guess that's fine, we'll just try and survive, if I'm honest. Uh, <laughs> that's the goal here. Uh, hello, Crane. Can we go around the outside of a crane through turn one? Quite possibly. Uh, we will get past, and it'll be across the jumps we had. Will the Gremlin survive these nicely? It does. Now, there is a sneaky line where you basically straight line the jump here. I don't know if I want to do it on the first lap, owing to I don't know where cars are going to be, so we're going to be just, we're going to just play it a little bit safe. Oh, I can't see my car. Longbow's in the way. Uh, <laughs> all is all is fine. We've come out the other side, all in one piece. One vehicle fell off. It was a red car. I'm going to guess small man, but I don't know for sure. Uh, I forgot about there's that fast outside line. Can't really do it when there's so many cars around. But that is okay. We will oh, launch our vehicle across some bumps here. Uh, oh, Lado and Gliska have got tangled. I will take my opportunity to uh, move up some positions. We might land on Ewan here. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I hope Ewan records that with the screen capture. I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I'm pretty sure we just kick-flipped Ewan's car, uh, which is not conducive for a good lap time for Ewan. Looked really cool. Looked really cool. Was not good for Ewan's health. But, you know, it's fine. It wasn't my health that got affected. It barely affected my car. 
<laughs> That's one hell of a crash, actually. Uh, oh, no, we've not got that landing right. In C-Class cars, they're not quite as fast, so you don't get that landing very nicely sometimes. I actually don't know whether that straight line jump is great. Um, I don't know if these are fast enough to really make the most of that sort of jump. Certainly mine does not seem to land where I want it to land. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's where I want to go, particularly. Oh, crap. Where is that going to go? Whoa. There is a little gap through there, but I might be about to go have a big accident. No, we got... Well, we, we survived it. We then got tangled with Ninetales. But uh, <laughs> never mind. Ninetales has, of course, got the uh, the teddy bear naturally uh, in the back of that. We will hopefully get the gremlin turned in, which we do. And we will pass the El Matador. Oh, God. Struggling a little bit for grip through that section. That is fine. Right, carry speed through here is all good. Uh, now, I have a little confidence lift on the way through there. How far do we jump? Uh, maybe we want a little lift on that jump to try and get it. Hmm. Yeah, there's a, I think there's a better way. I think there's a better way to take that section in these C-Class cars than the way that I'm currently taking it. But uh, I'm just not 100% sure what it is. Oh, there's an upside-down rocket. Uh, <laughs> let's try and avoid that. Uh, where is the final lap of the race. The leaders are just catching some of the back markers at the moment. Uh, whether there's going to be any shenanigans on this final lap of the race, I don't know. That's that's the perfect line over there. Oh, Stevie's not had a great time. That That's how you take that section. That was absolutely spot on. You just need a little lift at the right time to get a really smooth landing. Unfortunately, we figured it out on the final lap of the race. It's a fourth place. It's consistent. Uh, <laughs> it's it's a strong finish. And we got a pretty quick lap, actually. Uh, we were second fastest, as far as I can see. And I'm going to presume that was the final lap as well when I figured out how to... Um, get the uh, bounce correct, essentially. Um, but, yeah, there we go. Uh, the, ah, so, <laughs> okay, so the line into um, the line into turn one, the reason why all of us were taking that really wide line is when you go out there, you don't hit the bump that goes into turn one. So you just get a smooth turn into the first corner. Uh, which saves you a whole bunch of time. It makes it makes it way easier to carry speed through that corner. Basically, um, it's just much. It's a much smoother turn uh, into the first corner. You can carry way way more speed. Um, you barely need to. I don't. I don't think you really need to break through that corner taking that line. Whereas if you stay on the road proper, if you like, uh, it's a bit bumpy and awkward. So that's why you see, uh, <laughs> once you figure it out, once you get used to running that line, it is the best line through the first corner. I want to say the first, I want to say I followed nine tails through it, and that's where I saw it possibly, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it is, I think it is the best way through that, uh, through that corner. Uh, let's go to the Veil vale Full Suck. I actually quite like this track. I know not everybody likes this one. It is a little bit small and a bit fiddly, but uh, it's quite nice to race. We have had some really, really good races around here. Um, I'm going back to my Bulldog because I want my good handling car. Definitely want my good handling car for this one. Uh, I, mean, I could go for the buggy, but... The, well, the, I actually don't know how OP the buggy is anyway. It used to be stupidly strong. Um, no idea if it still is. There's so much change has gone on since then. Uh, <laughs> Kremlin. There's quite a lot of strong cars in this, if if built correctly. Uh, hopefully we can get a podium. That's that's what I'm going for here. Um, which is, we're trying to get a first podium of the day. <laughs> I'd like to get a first win of the day, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to, uh, you know... not not going to oversell. not going to oversell, because... It's very, I say, it's, it's difficult. Of course, it's difficult uh, to to win in these races. If we can just run consistently at the front, it's good. If we can get some some strong finishes, always a good idea. Um, but yeah, win, wins are nice. Podiums are not bad though. So we'll we'll go for that one. We shall see. Bulldog stands a decent chance in the right scenario. You start at the back of the grid is always going to be tough. Uh, we've got plenty of sensible vehicles here. Um, yeah, you're not going to want something 
ridiculously like heavyweights are no, no good around here. I mean, <laughs> the Cardinal, uh, I think Stevie's run that before. It isn't terrible, but it is probably a bit big for this circuit. Although if it does, the one plus point you get with the big um, uh, big heavyweights is if you end up in front, you know, so let's say Stevie starts on pole, it's really tough to pass. Like, really tough um, to uh, overtake a vehicle on this track. So, yeah, if Stevie starts on pole and has makes that cardinal very wide, could be difficult. Although what will tend to happen is everyone's going to stack up behind like crazy and then it will get really hectic. Uh, there will be a lot of pushing and shoving and someone's falling over at about turn two. I think it's, about turn, I think it's turn two, technically, on this track. Uh, you you know the one I mean, the really narrow one where everyone falls over. Uh, oh, Ewan did record, I think. Ewan did record the clip um, of... Yep, yeah, Ewan did record it. Jesus, that was an impressive death. And now it's racing time. God damn, I cannot catch a break on grid spots here. Uh, we're <laughs> really far back. Valentine without a great start. Gliska, the Sunrise Super, I think, a bit like the Bulldog, is all handling and no speed. Stevie's in the middle of the pack here as we head towards the narrow section. Someone has fallen over. I think that might be Giraffe. They've been righted again and then spun, I think. Yeah, you do not want to fall in the middle of the pack. Uh, <laughs> it's just kind of get... Well, I say run over, but you just kind of get... You're at the mercy of where the pack is going. And there's nothing anyone in the middle of the pack can do anyway. Because, uh, yeah, you're still going to get pushed around. Oh, there is... Manic battling here. There's a very sideways... I'm going to presume Nine Tails with the bear on the back of the Mustang. Uh, I was looking for a line around the outside, but there was nothing going to work there. We're going to cut underneath everybody. But it's just, the only problem with this is it puts us on the wrong side up here uh, for... Oh, antics like that. <laughs> Sorry, Bumpy, but I was pushed into you uh, through there. Now, we will be past... A bumpy. Now we're alongside the Cardinal. We are almost got the nose up the inside. We can just carry more speed than the Cardinal can through that section. Puts us up to ninth. Not great, but uh, better than nothing, I guess. Come on, little bulldog. Uh, Lado is leading the way at the front of this train of cars. Oh, Longbow clipped the armco there. That might give me an opportunity. No, should have been... Actually, I could have done that. I was a little bit cow... Uh, cow I was earlier on the brakes than I actually needed to be down there. Uh, we could have and should have got that pass completed. But never mind. We will... We live to fight another lap. Uh, we should... Yeah, we should, we should have been more assertive under braking. But there we go. This section here, we're normally quite good in the Bulldog. Uh, if I don't lock the brakes up... Uh, we will oh, try and get on that power. You want, <laughs> want to get on the power with a minimal amount of wheel spin, if at all possible. This time, that Longbow a little further away from the arm coat. Not quite close enough to do anything about Ewan. Uh, Gliska is having a battle with Ninetales up the front there. I'm just trying to <laughs> get trying to get the vehicle turned in neatly through these corners wherever I can. Oh, Longbow bounced a different arm coat wall. We have now got the momentum. We will chuck our vehicle to the inside. We are sliding about quite a lot, but Bulldog has got great grip. We do get it turned into the final corner. A little wide on the exit, though. Longbow is going to fight back. He's going to be on the outside for turn one. Ewan bumped the wall this time. We have the inside for turn two for Longbow. Wanted to duck underneath. Couldn't quite do it. Uh, I mean, we are still on the inside down here, though. Which, oh, God, I have to catch the to counter steer almost immediately. Uh, this is all giving Ewan that little bit of a breather. I mean, it's a great battle here. Uh, it's not really helping us catch the leaders. Not going to be able to... Am I going to be able to go around the outside of Longbow here? No. Well, actually, no, maybe we can. Uh, <laughs> didn't expect that to work, but it has drawn us alongside. We are now on the inside for turn number one, but it's the wrong side up here. Once again, we try a similar move. We duck underneath uh, for this one. Will we make it work? <laughs> We've been side by side with Longbow for like a lap and a half now at this point. Uh, Longbow is going to pull ahead. Will it stay? I don't know because we're going to try a very similar... We know we've got the grip to make this work around the outside of this final corner. This lap we're a little further back. But it's, we get so much mid-corner speed there. Uh, that's, that's where we're making it kind of count. 
not well. Longbow gave us a little bit of space. There was a tiny, tiny little overlap. This time it's to the inside at turn two for us, but we're not close enough. We might be able to have a little dive down there. Uh, I think we kind of scared Longbow a smidge there into giving us a bit of room. Uh, but we're still not... Oh, it's the final lap of the race. We're still not found a way past. Can we send it in the final corner? There's a gap to aim for on the inside. Oh, I put it in the wrong gear. It was a little bit rude. <laughs> it was a lot bit rude. I'm not sure Longbow is going to like me very much. <laughs> uh, it was the final lap of the race. It was... Minimal contact, ish. Minimal, <laughs> minimal contact. Lado got the victory. We were all mighty close in terms of lap time here. Uh, Lado would get victory. Speedy was second. Gliska's third. Nine tails was on the podium. Uh, it was. I mean, it was really close. I mean, back to me and Longbow. In fact, even to be fair, Valentine was right. It was like ten cars for in a line, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> We just, me and Longbow fought each other for far too long. Um, that was, yeah. <laughs> it was great fun. It was a great fun battle. That was, uh, that was a great fun battle on that one. As I said, me and, on what is one of the narrower circuits, me and Longbow pretty much went side by side for... Uh, you know, a lap, lap and a half, uh, which was great. Oh, my AR has been rolled and is now being bullied. But uh, yeah, that was good fun. I, uh, like we only ended up eighth, but that was a thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable, uh, enjoyable race. That one. A uh, cowbell. Thank you very much indeed for the donation. Uh, saying morning. Time to annoy Drake. Ah, well, thank you. And indeed, the cult of sixty nine is back on the donation bar. Naturally. Uh, <laughs> I could blame the collision on lag. It it wasn't. It it wasn't. It was well. There there was a gap. There was a vaguely a vaguely bulldog sized gap, and we took the opportunity to go for it. Um, but you know, there we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, where do we want to go? Let's uh, sure. Let's go. Bone breaker. Seven laps in C class cars. I don't know if we don't bone breaker with C class. Probably. Um, we shall see. Um, uh, Drake, thank you very much for the donation. So I see Amy has showcased a new boopy gun track on GTA. Can we see a, a, a video on that? Well, we will when it's finished. We did do a test. I'm going to presume that's what was for that was filmed. I don't know. Um, yeah, Ewan has made a new one. It will be featured. It will be filmed whenever it is, whenever it is ready. Uh, also, if someone asks you what the rules of a drag race are, tell them they're pretty straightforward. That is a boo to you. From me, and I am sure from chat. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Uh, what vehicle do I want, actually? Do I want the bulldog, or do I want something a bit sturdier? It's not going to be destructive enough for a limo. I don't think the Raven's any go. Okay, gremlin. Uh, right, let's go and and get that one started. Um, all right, okay. She she did the test one. Yeah, it would, I'm sure it'll make a video when the, when the track is is fixed up. Um, or I say it's fixed when it's completed. It's just a bit of uh, a couple of checkpoints need moving and a little bit of scenery and all of that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, there is a new booby gun circuit in in the works, which is cool. Um, which was yeah, good fun to to be generally if it's good fun in a test, it's probably going to make for a pretty good video. Most of the time. Some exceptions. We've had some stuff that when testing worked fantastic and afterwards has not worked. We had the... Oh, God, I can't remember. The Eliminator race that we did on Forza Horizon 4. Did we do one on 5? I think we did one on 5. Um, that one that Gliska made, it was really it was amazing. Really loved the idea. It worked really well when we tested it. Really well the first time we filmed it. And we could never get it to work afterwards. We could never get a balance that worked for an exciting race. Uh, it, was just, it was just one of those. It was just one of those where... Um, oh, apparently we are all going in vans. Cool. I guess that's... I guess I, guess I will join in... Do I have... Uh, I guess we'll go in a van as well. Apparently it has been decreed. Um... 
but uh, yeah, it was. There, there, there are some of those things that uh, when, when, when we test them, we think, oh, this is going to be great. This is going to work really well. And we go film it, and it might work once, and then we can't get it to work again. Uh, it's, it's balancing. Balancing is always one of the toughest things with, with anything that we do, especially when it comes to uh, the more wacky ruled sets, the more wacky events, and all of that sort of stuff. Um, so, yeah. Uh, however, booby gun stuff normally works pretty well. Um, all right, so the twat vans are here. There are many twat vans and <laughs> a few motorhomes as well. <laughs> Let us see who is uh, who is going to come out best from this. Oh, we are. Oh God, we've eaten a tire bundle, and that's caused us pain and suffering. Well, that's unfortunate, really. Uh, what way are we going to go? Uh, you can cross. You don't have to cross sides, so a lot of the time we don't in this one. Oh dear, we're gonna. I don't mind the wide line because you can get a decent exit. However, I do mind the wide line when we are stuck with other vehicles around. Uh, there is a car. Cars cannot survive. Cars will not survive the twat vans. Uh, we will head uh, well, to this side. The motorhome is going to. Well, it gets past. We've stolen its rear window frame. I feel like that was an important piece of uh, van motorhome to steal. You know what? It feels like it's quieter over this side of the road. I'm going over here now. Uh, Gliska is trying to fend off the car. Uh, oh, we are kind of out the other side. We're about where we were, but uh, <laughs> all, is, all is good. Ewan is leading the way. Oh, there's a wrecked van. How has that one got? How has it got wrecked is the question, really. Uh, well, I mean, we were assisted a fair bit into that corner, which was less than helpful, if I'm being honest here. Yeah, you lot go that way. Oh no, can't steer, can't steer. Well, Bumpy's going into the jump. <laughs> I, I, I do apologise, I don't want to do that. However, I had no steering at that point. There was little option for me. And, well, it was either Bumpy or me. Oh, Bumpy's revenge! Bumpy's revenge has got us. We have landed on our wheels, but... Uh, <laughs> I guess, I guess. Uh, I mean, I think Bumpy's still come out worse from that. It's not gone great for us, but uh, yeah. Oh dear. That is the down. Well, I say the downside. It's, it, with all the vehicles sometimes crossing over, sometimes not. Some of us trying to avoid. So is Bumpy wrecked? I think Bumpy might be DNF'd or has lost a wheel and might not be able to actually continue driving. Now, when we have slipped down the leaderboard, it looks like the car might be a little broken. Uh, but we are up into 8th place now. Oh, Bumpy's wreck tried to take out Lado, or maybe Bumpy controlling it tried to take out Lado. Possibly, who knows? Didn't really see. Uh, <laughs> didn't really see very well what was going on. We're hoping for more craziness to occur here. Uh, that would that would help us out no end. Uh, there is Stevie. Oh, Stevie is coming this way. Uh, that's fine. We may be able to find a way past. No, not quite. Uh, oh, Gliska has dropped back. I don't know, Gliska must have been involved in some shenanigans somewhere. Crane has ended up in a wall. <laughs> oh no. The cars, the cars, well the cars are being bullied. Funnily enough, the cars are being bullied by the vans and motorhomes. Can I... Oh, duck underneath. Not quite. Not quite got the momentum to do that. Downside with that is you struggle to uh... Oh, I'm trying to go the way that's quieter, basically, with the vans and motorhomes. I want less of them in front of me, uh, but I don't know whether that was the way to go. I don't know if that was the line either through there. We've got one more lap to go. Will, oh, Valentine's lost a wheel. Uh, <laughs> the cars have been quite broken now. Uh, oh, most of them have dived off this way. I'm hoping, I'm hoping they slow each other down. I'm hoping they tangle a bit, and there might be an opportunity for us to sneak some positions at the death, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Nope. Oh, find the gap through the wrecks. We've found the quieter route through here. Uh, have they stumbled over one another a little bit? Maybe. We might have snuck a pass on Stevie. It's going to be a run to the finish line. Oh! Lado, Lado made contact with someone. I don't know who it was. And it's given us another position. <laughs> it's another fourth. I just can't. I can't get a podium. Um, 
I cannot get a podium on this one. Valentin, <laughs> the two cars of Valentin and Crane, both DNF. Bumpy was out. Giraffe was out. I don't know what happened to Giraffe early on. Uh, it got very broken. Bumpy's Revenge did do some damage to us, but we still got ourselves back up into fourth in that. Which I can't complain too much about, to be honest, <laughs> considering how badly the start of that race went. Uh, not, not the start, but yeah, after the big flip off of Bumpy's roof. Uh, fourth, climbing back up to fourth, actually, yeah, not too disappointed with that. Stevie with fastest lap of the race. Jeez. Uh, I mean, we had a couple of good laps. I guess that was while we were catching the pack up. Um, but yeah, Stevie and Longbow uh, were flying around there. Lado desperately unlucky. <laughs> Lado so unlucky at the end there. Um... I don't know, one of the, the further down vehicles, um, just, yeah, managing to ping across. Uh, Alan, Alan, Alan's Egg, thank you very much for the donation. I was saying, could you use the Beam Infected mod to make an Eliminator race? Uh, in theory, you perhaps could. Um... Yeah, there might be a way to make... It would be a little bit fiddly. It'd have to be like a one-make right. You could, in theory, you could do something with it. Um, we actually need to try doing Bulldog with the Eliminator... Uh, with the Infected mod, sorry, at some point, perhaps. Even It's a little bit jank. It's possible. I hadn't really thought about that, but we might have to look into to giving it a try, seeing what we can do. Seeing... Seeing how we can make it all work. Um... But, uh, yeah, that could do something. Possibly. Possibly. Uh, oh, this one. I didn't remember whether this circuit was a long track or a short track. Uh, Clay Ridge isn't too bad. It's, there's a couple of dangerous sections. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's... It's a fun circuit to race around. What do I want to... I really need to rebuild my Stella, because Stella is a great car. Do I, do I try... Oh, screw it. We're going to give the Gorby... We're going to give the Gorby one more chance. Uh, Travis, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, saying, given Alex's performances so far, it would not be inaccurate to call him a fourth to be reckoned with. Oh, you're getting a boo from me. And probably from chat. In fact, by the looks of it, already by chat, you are definitely getting a boo. In... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this one... Oh, dear. Um, uh, well, hopefully we can go one better. I'd just like a podium. Actually, if I say I want to get a different finishing position, we're going to get worse. That's how it goes. Uh, <laughs> so we go, we're aiming for podiums, all right? We're trying to try and get there. Maybe. Uh, we can do this. Actually, I've got a Gorby. I've got a Gorby that I don't really know whether I like the way it drives. Well, I don't really like the way it drives, but I do think it is pretty fast. This track has a long start finish straight. I reckon this track could work for the Gorby. If my Gorby's going to work somewhere, it might be here, basically. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to, uh, David say fourth, fourth place. I uh, like the, the... Oh, sorry, I thought you said like a Flint trophies, as in like it was a... You've got gold, silver, bronze, and then flint for fourth. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> uh, Cowbell, thank you very much for the donation, saying beans means Heinz. I'm not sure if there was any relevance. However, you I mean you're not wrong, I guess. Not that I'm a particular fan of beans. Mm, I mean, they're okay. Give me, give me spaghetti hoops instead of beans. This is a weird conversation immediately now, but... A hoops, a hoops over beans. That's the way to go, uh, for me. <laughs> anyway, uh, there. See, you learnt, you learnt something new about me today. I don't think I've ever, ever talked about this, this before. But, you know, possibly my most controversial opinion. Uh, right there. <laughs> Uh, what have we got racing in this run? Sunrise Supers, we've got some super, we've got normal vehicles, anything, anything out of the ordinary? Glisten's got a hearse. Um, and Stevie has a hearse. Outside of that, everything pretty normal. Uh, not a bad spot on the start line here. If the Gorby is genuinely rapid, we could make the most of this. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, I think 
I think Cyberaxel was trying to get out of the way, but they ended up coming across right where we were trying to go, which is very frustrating. Um because we had a good start. So the one, <laughs> one track where our car could have been genuinely quick, uh, we got screwed anyway. Oh, I don't know whether that's the line. I don't know what, I can't remember what is the fastest line down there. Uh, by the looks of it, Lado may have gone round. We are trying to sneak our car up the inside, uh, which we do. Stevie's uh, removing some advertising banners. Uh, <laughs> right, come on, Gorby, you can do this. We're back up to 10th, at least, which is something. Where the breaking point is, about there, though, is not bad. The hearses clattered into one another. Oh, we've got a bump. Go. I think the thing with this car is, I think it could be quite quick. However, this being Wreckfest, there's going to be contact. Not, not even necessarily intentional, but there's going to be contact. And I fear this thing is just going to be too unstable. Whenever there's any contact. Oh, Lado was to the end. Did not know Lado was going to appear there. Yes, yeah, like contact like that is going to be what really gets me in trouble is because the car just wants to go sideways. Uh, we're going to have to be really mindful of that sort of stuff. Uh, we are past... Ooh, I'm not stopping. Well, we're going to dive bomb, inadvertently dive bomb. Ewan didn't want to. Ewan did thankfully see that one uh, coming there and could get out of the way. Uh, I feel like there's a good car with the Gorby somewhere if you build it right uh, or if you can, if you can deal with the snappy, difficult-to-drive nature of it, uh, which I I just struggle. It just really doesn't suit my driving style here. Uh, all right, come on. Put that power down somewhere. Are we clear of Ewan? Not at all. Behind Ewan, there is quite a big gap, though. Now, early on, the brake's up here. Oh, Ewan's going to send it to the inside. That's probably fair. Uh, although, we are now back underneath. Ewan, I've got to... You can't... <laughs> you're going to squeeze me that far to the inside. I'm afraid that's going to... We were still alongside. I don't know whether there's a, whether there's a bit decent, whether Ewan quite realised we were still up the inside. But at some point, there's going to have to be some space. Otherwise, we're going to end up, well, doing what we did there. I, I apologise to Ewan. Was not, it didn't, you know, didn't want to put you up the wall. But uh, <laughs> I had no other choice. We ended up onto two wheels. And that was... Uh, that was that, really. Uh, there is... Oh, that might be a little late on the brakes. Oh, everything's locked up. Never mind. We get away with it. The sunrise has uh, jumped back onto the circuit. I think Longbow may... No, Longbow didn't fall over. Longbow got away with it. Up there. Uh, we are going through this kind of switchback section. We can get it straightened up nice and early. We can carry some speed. Oh, we might... Have, apologies again. We fucking <laughs> launched it right over the... Bloody tyres. Oh, come on. We're fifth. Well, it's different. It was, a, it was a fast lap and we did murder someone on the way there. Oh, Vanitate is using the wall, the uh, Armco wall, to uh, slow down. Actually, I don't know whether you could. Could you do that intentionally? Maybe. I don't know, I don't know whether it is intentional. I wonder whether you legit could, like, scrape the wall. If it kept the car, if you could keep the car straight, you could maybe do it. You could maybe scrape the wall to slow it down. Uh, however, yeah, I mean the Gorby's not. It's better than I thought it was going to be. It's just uh, really twitchy. It's a fifth place. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we didn't have the pace of nine tails. Christ. We were there or thereabouts. We were we were there. The hearses were seventh and eighth. Honestly, shenanigans went on further back. Um, yeah, I'm impressed. Um, I'm I'm impressed with the amount of speed the Gorby has for what is well, I say for what is a car that wasn't actually built at all for racing. But uh, yeah, I mean we were there. Yeah, so we we were there. We're actually. About as quick as Longbow and Valentine and Speedy. Uh, we just lost too much early on. Night Owls was flying, but didn't have time to catch up. Uh, Ewan, Ewan got murdered by lag. Um, no. <laughs> but uh, there we go. Uh, Cyber Axel, thank you for the super chats. Uh, so, so, sorry, High Ping wanted to move out of everyone's way. Yeah, like I, I figured it was moving out of the way. It was just, it was just one of those unfortunate. The Gorby's so fast accelerating off the line, it just catches catches people out. I certainly know the one was uh, was not a, a malicious uh, manoeuvre, so to speak. Uh, 
But, uh, yeah, there we go. Shall we go to... Uh, which is the Hilltop Stadium? Uh, I don't want that one. That one's too big. That that figure of eight um, is... I mean, it, it's just not a particularly exciting figure of eight. This figure of eight, now this is good fun. <laughs> 15 laps, B-class, around here. Now, it will... It will start off sensible for a bit. I'm not driving the Gorby here. I do not want oversteer on this track. Uh, I think Hammerhead. I think Hammerhead is my best bet because the other one that I would run for this class, the Rammer, is probably a little bit more over oversteery, perhaps in uh, in this one. Um, but we shall see. Generally speaking, uh, figure of eight races don't have a crazy level of DNFs. Although it depends on what, it really depends on what happens. In the if there is an accident early on that spreads the field out, it's then a different story. If everyone's if it stays relatively close together, it may not be until lap twelve, you know, lap ten, lap twelve, where we start seeing crossover nonsense it may not be until towards the end so we might not see a hugely high attrition rate but what we might see that attrition rate if something happens at the start if someone gets spun if if the pack gets spread out so that from lap two or three you're starting to see incidences at the cross once the once the mayhem starts at the crossover it will continue um it is going to continue it will carry on uh, because the field is going to be spread in such a way where it's going to keep meeting at the crossover. Uh, but it really depends on how the race goes up until that point. Uh, I hope I am not the one that gets dumped back. Uh, <laughs> we've got a fourth place to go and get. Because uh, I'm sure we'll find our way to about there. Um, you know, that is that is the way it has gone this evening. Uh, that is the way it'll probably continue to. Now we we're probably going to see a, we might see a few stronger cars running in this. A couple of war wagons, hearse. Uh, oh, no, no. Uh, is the hot? I don't think the hot bomb's particularly um, particularly strong. It's cool, but I don't know how strong it is. It's probably fast. However, we will see. Um, yeah, not the not the most heavy duty of races, which is. Uh, interesting. It's because I don't think we're expected to see a, a huge amount of uh, DNFs, but we will we will find out. I could be wrong. Now I said that, of course, this is the one where we have a crazy, crazy race where two cars finish. It's always a possibility. Uh, Crane is on the inside, although Crane's car is a little bit slower off the line. We might be able to sneak past. Valentine's found a gap. It is now four wide on the exit of that which will now become three wide. You and on the inside, we might actually be able to poke our nose into the lead, uh, which we do, but it, we are very far on the outside. Stevie's going to get that lead, but is on, now on the outside for the next corner. Uh, I'm going to try and sneak the Volvo back past, which we do for the moment. Okay, all is good. And it's been a clean first lap. The pack is all in a line. Oh, pack is all in a line down here, which means no crossover potentials. Oh, I've got that corner wrong. We got snap oversteer in the wrong point through that corner. I and mean, you can look the long way around there. Uh, it's unlikely to be able to do it. I know where you're trying to put your car and I'm not going to leave that space. I think Giraffe's got a problem of some sort. Uh, <laughs> something's going on with that car. Uh, now, I am unfortunately, I say unfortunately, we are already having to go for quite defense. Oh, Giraffe's already DNF. What's going on with Giraffe? Giraffe can't seem to get around a lap at the moment. Uh, has anyone seen them? <laughs> they seem to be having some issues. Uh, they are not having much luck. Uh, yeah, now the field spread is happening already. We're only on lap four. That's not great for me. I wanted a lot more time before this started happening, but we're not going to get it. Uh, for now... Oh, see, already I'm having to go on the brakes. And that that's, acts as essentially a catch-up for the cars behind. I mean, I have to go on the brakes, otherwise we will get hit at this one. I think we're ahead of them now. That is what we want. It means I don't have to worry about it. And the cars behind now may get hit. They're having their own tussle, which is good for me. 
Uh, oh, Finland is rolling. <laughs> the whole of Finland has just fallen over right there. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, hammerhead, behave yourself. Thank you. Uh, we will go behind Bumpy. I'm okay with that. Uh, don't mind me, Supra. Uh, oh, we're in a little bit of a hurry. Sorry. A little, little bit of a hurry here. Uh, where is the gap going to be behind Bumpy again? I mean, I'm hoping next lap around I might be ahead of Bumpy, but I'm not sure. Ninetales is, well, unsurprisingly catching. Uh, who would have thought it? Are we ahead of Bumpy for the jump? Yeah, oh, no, we got lagged. We were ahead of Bumpy. And then we got net coded. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, it was not by much. We were only talking a few millimetres, let's be honest here. But, uh, yeah, there was technically not any contact, but it's perhaps to be expected. We are back past speedy. Oh, just about. Uh, we will get ourselves onto the podium, at least. No, we can't have a victory. We're not allowed to, all right, in this session. <laughs> oh, we're, on, we're still trying to make this outside pass work. It might work. Uh, it has not quite. All right, we're, well, we are back up into the podium spots, though, because Longbow got taken out by someone. Um, he's a figure of eight race. It happens. Oh, break. <laughs> we're back at the point where we are battling Bumpy at the crossover. We're on the outside of the muscle car. Can't do it. Uh, we're going to have to duck back in line. Oh, crap. That time. we oh, I, mis I completely misjudged it, and it's race over. Um, oh, I thought... We were maybe going to be okay, but we were really not. No, both of us misjudged it. I should have got on the brakes. That was very much the case of I really wanted to get ahead. I was too busy trying to get ahead of the uh, the car alongside. Oh, wow. God damn it. <laughs> uh, this, this, now, I mean, it's completely wrecked, of course. Oh, well, we slowed down nine tails, but... Uh, Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, uh, should, I should have got on the brakes, but uh, hindsight is brilliant. What the hell is that? I mean, it's a car. Well, it was a car once upon a time. I've got no steering now. Yeah, I mean, we don't turn. Unsurprisingly, the car has had enough. Oh, that Valentine got absolutely murdered by Stevie. Long, uh, not Lombo, sorry. Ninetales has had an accident as well, but Ninetales is also recovering. I mean, we are all just a moving hazard. I mean, I'm going to try and keep out of people's way, but uh, yeah, there's only so much that we can do with this. I mean, we're hoping for more DNFs. That would be good. Crane is going to overtake us. Uh, we fall outside of the top ten because I, I can't turn right. I can turn left, okay. Uh, oh, there. Valentine's had a big wool wipe out. Gliska's poorly. Ewan's here. Hello, Ewan. You've got a lot of health. Look, I'm trying to stay out of people's way. Oh, no, don't push me, don't push me, don't push me. Well, that's what happens. <laughs> uh, uh. All right, go on. Get going. Oh, small man has been absolutely annihilated on the crossover. But they're not DNF. I need more DNFs. Uh, I need more DNFs around here. Oh, God, if I tap the brakes, I just go straight. Do not touch the brakes. The brakes do not do good things. Well, I mean, maybe if I want to go left, actually, to be fair. Oh, Gliska's out of this one. Hello, Stevie. Don't mind me. Uh, oh, don't really steer. Don't really, really don't steer at all here. Uh, no, I can't avoid that. I can't avoid it. <laughs> I've got nothing. I've got nothing. Uh, it doesn't work. Nothing works. Hello, Stevie. I can't. I would love to go faster. I really would absolutely love to go faster. Ninetales has taken victory uh, in all of this. Who would have thought? Oh, there's Gliska's missing wheel. Who, who would have thought Ninetales would have taken a victory in all of this? Really hoping for more DNFs so we could maybe move up the leaderboard a little bit. Uh, please, please turn, please turn, please do something. Uh, it's not much. I, don't, I think we're... Well, we're going to time out. We aren't going to DNF, but we are, I think, going to time out of this one. Unfortunately. Oh, and definitely now. Ow. Oh, wow, that actually almost did wreck us completely. Ah! No! <laughs> God sake. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Um, that has... Oh, 
It's not gone well, has it? It was going so well. I mean, the hammerhead is glorious there. We had the second fastest lap behind Nine Tails. Like, that's how quick that car was there. Uh, actually, no, we didn't. Longbow had the fastest lap. We had the third fastest lap. Uh, Longbow also out. Um, that's how it goes. Uh, Ewan, don't worry. Your luck is about as, as good as mine. Uh, <laughs> you finished fourth, for God's sake. <laughs> I, I, I've had just terrible, terrible luck. Um, that is, say, it is the way it goes sometimes. Uh, uh, cerebral tackle. Thank you very much indeed uh, for the super chat. Say my part of Apollo's commentary fee. <laughs> Good doggo. Hey Apollo, you got paid. He looks very sleepy all of a sudden. Come on then. You gonna come say hello to everyone? You gonna say hello? Can you speak? You gonna speak? I haven't got any treats for you, so I bet you don't. You do know what that means. You do know what speak means. Because if I had a treat in my hand, he'd know exactly what to do. But, now I haven't got one. He needs a bit of work on the old training with that one. Apollo? Speak? Speak? Apollo? Speak? No, you're going through all the other things I've trained you to do. You've not got the right one. Apollo? Speak? You know what I'm asking you to do? You're a clever dog. Oh, well, okay. It said you can sniff the microphone. I guess that's good enough. Thanks, buddy. We've got to work on that some more. I'm gonna, you, this, you, won't, you won't speak when I want you to, but the second a bike goes past, you'll bark at that, won't you? Won't you? All right, well, good doggo. Mostly good doggo. Even if you can't do commentary on command, can you? Now you're licking the microphone. Well, or licking the pop filter uh, <laughs> oh, oh and now you're licking my face no dog I mean you're being cute and actually quite well behaved this evening which is nice and relatively quiet uh, <laughs> there we go uh, when I tried I tried I tried to get the uh, the dog to speak he as I said he can be he does know what it means he's just stubborn sometimes um, yeah, Apollo doesn't speak on live stream unless he has has a contract paying for his appearance. Yeah, unless there's treats, unless there's treats, there is no talky dog. Uh, oh, that is the way it goes sometimes. Lado, thank you very much for the uh, donation. By the way, saying extreme damage, death loop, hell ride, and wreck nado. Hmm. We can definitely do extreme damage on some of them. Uh, in a minute, because I just loaded up this one now. But yeah, we can have a go with that. I don't know how well it's going to go. Probably interesting, that's for sure. We will have some very funny shaped vehicles by the end of it. Um, but uh, yeah, absolutely, we can, we can, we can try those ones. Um, right, what do I want to race around here? I mean, I feel like we've got to stick with a hammerhead, right? This, so this was the very first, the very first track that came to. Um, well, Wreckfest slash next car game. This was like the the very, very first circuit. So it's always fun to revisit this. It's always an interesting... I say an interesting experience to go back to this one. But uh, yeah, I remember the the good old days where it was literally... There were like two... Were there two circuits initially on on next car game when it came out? I think there was. It was this one. That may have. Was it only this one? Okay, so it was. I say it was so long ago. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's fun to go back to the original circuit if you like. Uh, like in motions, say Hot Wheels and Matchbox will have some of the, the fastest cars. Keep an eye out for Bugatti, Boli, Tesla, Roadster, for Oh, they got Forest. That's cool. I'd like the Mitsubishi three thousand GT as well. That's awesome. I have. I. I. Need to stop going to toy shops because I spent a lot of money on uh, Hot Wheels yesterday. No, day before. Day before, I bought... Uh, I'll, I'll, there'll probably be a picture on Twitter at some point uh, when I can get one that is... I bought a bunch of the transporters. So I got the Alfa Romeo, the 155 with the transporter. Uh, I got a Rover... What was it? Rover Rally Car with a transporter. Uh, I got... I can't remember the other ones. I got another transporter. What the hell was it? Oh, it was an old muscle car, like an old NASCAR. I can't remember what, what, exactly what it was now. Um, also got a Mercedes DTM car. 
uh, Audi R8 GT. I, there, there will be there will be a picture at some point. I bought a whole bunch of Hot Wheels cars. I just cannot be trusted in toy shops <laughs> when there are Hot Wheels to buy. I cannot be trusted around them because uh, yeah, there's a lot of really cool ones out there. Um, oh, Ford Capri race car as well. I got that. That was that was awesome. Really like that. Really like that one. Uh, Nine Tails has snuck through all of it. Um, but uh, yeah, Hot Wheels and all of that stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, I spend far too much money on them, but they're cool, so I don't care. <laughs> that's, that's 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 the gist of it. Oh, hello, Ninetales. Come on, come on, Hammerhead. Make this work on the outside. It'll be a cool pass if you can pull it off. I mean, kind of. Uh, giraffe might survive the first lap. Oh, Valatane might not. Valatane's in the wall. Longbow's to the lead of the race. We are into the podium positions at the moment. I think Ninetales is trying to make a Star Beast. I think that's a Star Beast work, which is one of the more difficult cars to make work. Ewan's out wide. I'm going to steal that position from Ewan. Uh, can we chase down? Oh, no. Longbow's Nexus. Not like that, though. Not like that. We're going to lose the position to Ninetales and to Ewan. God damn it. Uh, we may be able to get underneath. Not quite one of the cars here. We're going to get some... Uh, some oversteer on the exit. We may be able to cut down to the inside of Ninetales almost. We've got a little bit of a breakaway group up at the front. Oh, Ninetales, big twist in the air there. Uh, oh, we bumped it through the ditch. So I think that's what Valatane did out of the lead. It is quite an easy thing to do. Uh, we were probably not attacking it quite as hard because we knew we were going to be on a tight line against Ninetales there, so we couldn't attack it quite as hard. So when we did get bounced wide, it wasn't as bad. Uh, we are trying to follow Nine Tails, but both of us are trying to do motorbike impressions now. Well, we were successful in doing the motorbike impressions, just not what is conducive for a good lap time. Can I fling my car up the inside through here? No, I can't. Uh, yeah. Oh, we are let's say, struggling to find a way past. Uh, <laughs> Longbow's gone at the front. No one's catching Longbow, barring some big mistakes here. I'm trying to be brave through that final corner. Uh, there is a vehicle staying out wide. I think that might be a broken down Chris. Missing a wheel on the Stella by the looks of it. Ninetales is really chucking that car into these corners. Uh, now it's Ewan's turn to go up onto two wheels. I did, but I carried more momentum while doing it. Ninetales is going to take that second place away. Ewan's all crossed up. I will take the third place away. <laughs> In a close battle like this, one mistake can be quite costly. Ninetales struggling with speed through that corner, although may still get a decent exit. We're going up towards the halfway mark in the race here. Uh, now, I am turning in on that tight line. That line there is not bad, actually. If we get it right and you don't bounce it, oh, Ewan's gone. I uh, don't know what happened to Ewan there. Something less than ideal uh, is the only way I could describe it. If I had anything to do with it, I apologise, although it, I think Ewan was having their own moment long before I kind of arrived on the scene. Ninetales has kind of figured out, oh, Chris is becoming friendly with a lamppost or like the floodlights. I guess that's the better thing to call it. Uh, <laughs> right. I cannot chase down Ninetales at the moment. It's like Ninetales is a few, like a couple of tenths faster a lap. Not quite pulling away, has pulled away a bit more this lap. Not quite pulling away a crazy amount per lap, but he's just edging away uh, towards Longbow, perhaps. Or maybe Longbow just had a bit of a scruffy lap, who knows. Uh, right, turn one. Trying to be as brave as I can with this car. The thing I don't want to do is throw away a podium position. Uh, I've got to, I've got to leave it later to turn in there. Got to leave it a lot later to turn in there. Nine tails hit a tire bundle in a different place. Not, <laughs> I've got away with it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm taking what would be a racing line because of the bump there. You really shouldn't take that. I've got to follow Nine tails line better, really, as. Um, that is the way to do it. A little bit in the final corner as well, just to stay a little bit wider so that you don't hit that horrible bump, essentially. Right. Turn. Oh, God. Turn one. Got my car stuck in the ditch. Didn't want to turn in. <laughs> That's not so good. Don't want to be doing that. Uh, right. Stay out a little bit wider through there. It's just, it's just better. You just get a. Sm it's not quite. I can say, not quite the line I want, but. It's way better if you aren't hitting the bumps and aren't getting yourself in as much trouble. I think we are actually maybe slightly catching Longbow a little bit. Or oh, Ninetales is. I'm kind of holding station here. Uh, Speedy is about the same speed as us behind. Uh, how many laps we got to go? Don't know. It turned in too soon. Oh, really messed that one up. 
locked out the brakes mid-corner. That's really bad. One more lap to go. Just don't do anything stupid, I think, is the order of the day here. Uh, into turn one we go, and it is neat and tidy. It's been a little bit of a quieter race, this one, which is how it goes. It was, it was an exciting start to the race, uh, and after Ewan took a trip uh, left here to wherever that went, uh, I'm going to guess maybe... I know Ewan's been struggling with some lag, I'm going to guess. That may have assisted... Um, yeah, after that, we've not really seen much. Not been able to keep up with nine tails. I mean, we've been close, but not close enough, essentially. A couple of silly errors through a couple of corners. It is going to be Longbow that gets victory. Nine tails gets second, but we finally... Finally, we get ourselves on to the podium. Uh, yeah, because we were about as quick as... We were about as quick as Longbow. I, I, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. We were, yeah, four tenths down on uh, on nine tails. We were a, we were slightly, but we were only talking like a tenth quicker than than Longbow, a tenth quicker than Speedy. Bumpy's up in fifth. Good showing from Bumpy. Uh, Ewan would be sixth. Giraffe makes a lap. Giraffe survives a lap. Actually, quite a high attrition rate on this circuit, um, which I'm going to guess something weird went on at the start. Lado out without completing a lap. Um, small man. Super Venom died. Chris is stellar. Well, we saw it was missing a wheel at one point. Um, don't know quite what uh, what occurred there. Finland also hit the final corner wall uh, that put that car out. But uh, ah, there we go. I am happy. I am happy with a podium. We did it. We got a third place. <laughs> We got a third place. Fantastic. Right, we are going to go and try. Well, I say we're going to go and try. I know what's going to happen. Do I say I know what's going to happen? I'm actually not 100% sure. So, Lado wanted us to do a race on extreme damage. I'm going to go to Recknado on extreme. So, extreme damage works differently, basically. You technically don't have a health bar, so you can keep taking damage. You DNF if two wheels on the same axle come off. So if you lose both front wheels or both rear wheels, you will be eliminated. You can lose a front and rear, and you are still good to go. Um, I don't know what I want to drive for extreme damage. I, I feel like... Now might be time for the trophy runner. I feel like I'm going to want strength here. Oh, unless I've changed extreme damage since I last drove it as well. I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> that's that's the truth. I, have, I say I don't remember. I don't normally run with the extreme damage. So I don't know what is going to happen here. Uh, I, I, think, I think heavy duty car is going to be the way to go here. I'm perhaps not the only one going for it. So the only cars that are readied up. Bumpy with a sweeper. That won't be heavy duty. Ewan's hearse probably well, will be stronger. Um, there is a war wagon. They can be quite strong. Uh, Razor is going to be just a fast car. Ninetales is, well, is picking. Small man has a limo. We know they're tanks. Uh, Valentine also in a tank. Uh, <laughs> so there's a few of us in the big heavy duty stuff. Longbow's Nexus, while incredibly fast might not like this might not like it might end up being a little ball of metal by the end it probably will most of the things in this are going to end up as a little ball of metal uh, so you know there is that uh, road cutter for Lado mm, won't like the landing of the jump necessarily they can be quite tough they can be quite strong vehicles uh, don't, depends on how it's built though doesn't have to be uh, will be interesting that is for sure. Trophy runner, you are right. The wheels are... It is... I say it's an open wheel. It's not an open wheeled vehicle. I guess technically it would be. The wheels are potentially exposed. My hope is it's going to hit so hard it's going to win most of the contests. I think anything gets hit on the side at the jumps here, doesn't matter what it is, is going to have problems. Uh, I'm hoping we are going to dish out more punishment than we receive. No guarantee. No guarantee at all. Should be funny. 
I have no idea how many cars are going to survive this because I don't normally drive with. I don't, we don't normally. I sorry, I personally don't normally play on this damaged level, so I don't know what we're going to have happen. Uh, <laughs> could could be, you know, one or two finishers. Could be quite a lot of us. I don't. I, Recknado's probably the second most destructive circuit we run. Probably not going to be a lot of cars finishing here uh, because the jumps are going to do a number on the field. Now, my hope is that, of course, the trophy runner should be good on the jumps, right? It's going to have, in theory, the suspension to deal with this. Uh, or, yeah, I didn't. I, I presumed Stevie was going to go run around there. I'm actually kind of okay being further back through this. Oh. I'm not sure who we hit. It may have been Crane. Uh, we certainly smashed one of them quite good. Uh, oh, Stevie's car is a funny shape. Uh, one of the green things got hit hard. Mm, yeah, don't know. May have been a Crane. May not have been. Lado is leading the way here. And that was alarmingly close. Whoever that was. Uh, right, we are up on to... Oh, well, I mean, we were up onto the wall. <laughs> oh, we got lagged. Oh. Lot of lag. I don't even know whether the being pushed up on the wall was lag related. It may well have been. Uh, go, 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 go. Well, there is a Chris who might be out. I don't know. It's definitely quite broken, whatever it is. There is a Ewan that is definitely quite broken. Uh, <laughs> and there is another car that is not steering. I think that was Finland that was having issues. Um, whoop, we are very sideways through there. Stevie may be broken down in the center of the circle. Yeah, looks like Stevie is. Oh, we got a bounce on the half on the landing. Well, my theory of it being good at the landings has not worked. We are not good at the landings. <laughs> I don't know why that bounced like that, but it did. Lado leading the way. We are a lap down now in all of this mess that has occurred. So we're trying to go after Giraffe, who is that turquoisey blue car up ahead. Uh whether we're going to be able to do anything about that, I don't know. So I'm slightly worried about running on the wall if uh, things, if my wheel, my wheels might might get more broken than they already are. Uh, so that's that's the concern I have. Uh, ah, Kezia is damaged. So missing a wheel up ahead in that grid. So that's a, that that car we are also racing for position. Uh, we will bounce past that. That is fine. So I'm thinking Lado's leading. Longbow may well be in second. We're up to eighth place now. Oh, Ewan's having a torrid time. Longbow may have just been a little... No, Longbow's still moving. Uh, <laughs> there's There's been some big some big wrecks. I mean, there's a lot of cars now that are not very healthy. My car is in better condition than a lot of vehicles, which is nice. <laughs> Makes a change, really, doesn't it? We've had an awful start. However, our car is not in a bad... Not in too bad or away in the grand scheme of things. Actually put... Oh, now it is. God damn it. How did that... Of all of the punishments that this car has taken, that was the most innocuous hit. Oh, giraffe. Oh, no, crap. Oh. How are we alive? We're third now. How on... Uh, did we wreck the limo? I mean, we got the wrecked thing, and I think the limo that slightly grazed our roof... Uh, is out. Well, it is out. It's definitely out. So we killed a limo with our roof. <laughs> mighty, mighty trophy truck. You have killed a limo with your roof. That's fantastic. Oh, crap. Uh, Longbow. Well, I thought Longbow was going to wreck themselves. In, or I thought Longbow was going to hit the side of us. Could have killed us. Could have killed them. But no, Longbow is still going. Uh, giraffe might take away my podium, though. It might be back to fourth place for me, depending on how this section goes. For Giraffe, they found a gap. Uh, no, they've got all of their wheels and there's nothing I can do about it. Giraffe will take it. Ah, That loss of a wheel. That loss of a wheel. We might have even been able to get Longbow uh, at the end. Had we not lost that wheel, because we were going quite quickly. Um, actually, I don't know. Longbow's... Lobo and Lado's vehicles were much faster. They weren't quite as strong. However, they did survive. Only four cars finished, though. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, well, that was... Uh, 
that was quite something. Lado took victory, Longbow up in second. Uh, Chris didn't even complete a lap in all of that one. Uh, yeah, four finishes around there. Bloody hell. <laughs> Bloody hell indeed. Uh, that was, funnily enough, quite a high uh, rate of attrition right there. Um... Now, Alano did did ask for... Well, I think Deathloop... I don't know. Deathloop might not do much for this. I actually think Crash Canyon might be quite interesting with this damage. So we're going to try it. We're going to try Crash Canyon on the extreme damage. I don't know what vehicle I want for this. Because the Trophy Runner... I keep thinking the Trophy Runner is going to be good over the bumps. And it might be if you build it right. Mine isn't right. Um... I, I don't know what. Maybe a rammer? No, rammer's not great either. Nothing's really very good on the bumps that I have. Hotshot, possibly. Might not be the worst thing. Ah, screw it. Let's give it a try. Uh, <laughs> Travis, thank you very much for the uh, for the super chat. Saying the fourth is strong with this one. Uh, I'm going to give you a boo, but also you're not wrong. You are not wrong at all. I just Fourth place is my favourite finishing position, apparently, this evening. Uh, Chris, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying there are now four companies that will refuse to insure a Range Rover inside the city of London uh, due to how easy they are to steal. Bloody hell. Um, <laughs> I mean, I guess they... I don't know whether they'd be any easier to steal. Like, this... These days, most modern cars, you steal them by stealing the key, right? It's quite rare that a car will actually be stolen any other way. Um, I'm wondering if Range Rovers are just targeted a lot more, because high value, there's probably a bunch of them in London. I don't know what would make them any easier to steal than anything else, particularly. But, uh, yeah, I wonder if it's just because like the sheer volume of them being stolen, uh, because of either how many there are or whatever. Um, well... I'm not gonna. Uh, <laughs> I say I'm not gonna worry that much. Oh no, no more Range Rovers! What a terrible, terrible shame. Uh, <laughs> and also, I don't live in London. Never intend to. Never gonna be a problem. But uh, yeah, it just it, it surprises me that they would. I don't, yeah, I can't imagine that they they themselves had any worse security. They could do though. I don't know. I don't know enough. Um, uh, Ewan, thank you very much for the donation. Saying. I smell. Also, we should do a Moa GP race. Ewan does smell, apparently. Uh, who did that one? I'm going now. I'm going to guess it wasn't Ewan. Can I check? Well, I can check. I can't remember how to. I've forgotten how to find out because I'm terrible with Streamlabs. Can I figure out who to blame it on? Uh, no, I can't. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, is the lawnmower a DLC? I don't know whether we can because I don't know if the lawnmower is a DLC car. It might be. So we might not actually be able to. Um, oh god, we're on pole. This was not the car or the race necessarily where I wanted to start on pole, but there we go. We are off and underway. Chris is looking to the inside. I like the high line through here, but uh, there's only so much that we can do through here. We're going to wander a bit, but that's fine. Opening lap doesn't matter if I run down this side. In fact, Chris has had a big crash on their own, so we get away with that quite well. Okay, Hot Shot deals with the bumps quite nicely. Now, this won't be as fast around the lap. This is a more heavy-duty car. Uh, well, funnily enough, I believe the bumper car is dead. Yeah, you know, that was always going to be a, a short-lived race. <laughs> we are around the outside. Now, the Nexus is here. Nexus probably doesn't want to have an argument with a hot shot. Uh, not, especially not one with like seven point something in terms of strength. Uh, oh, that is a wrecked vehicle. We can run up on the banking as well. I mean, this should have... It's just not going to be as, as quick over the course of a lap as the Nexus, but it is going to be strong in a fight. Uh, sadly, yeah, not fast enough. There is Chris. Can we chuck it to the inside of Longbow? We can put the squeeze on Longbow a little bit, yeah. <laughs> it's a little rude, not going to lie. Uh, Longbow returns the favour. Cry, whatever the hell that was, almost rolled directly into us. Uh, so the thing is that Longbow's going to have to make a decision now. If they leave the inside open, I'm going to dive every lap. Now, it's not technically... Well, that's a little bit overdriven. Oh, I'll straighten you up. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm always going to dive there, right? Because I, my goal entirely now is to slow down Longbow. Longbow is far faster than I am around this lap. So my goal is to try and put my car in a way that makes it difficult for Longbow. Ideally without spinning. Uh, but we... <laughs> oh, there is what's left of Chris's car. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No, wait, Giraffe bounced out the other way. I mean, the other alternative plan is we could just continue to tag the back of Longbow's car and be really annoying. Uh, although, yeah, not quite. Not quite. I don't, I don't really want to, although Longbow actually overdrove that corner on their own. Right, okay, I think, I think the psychological warfare has been done so far. Chris's wreck has bounced in front of us a little bit. Uh, cannot quite get there this lap around, unfortunately. Uh... I'm trying to make sure that is a very funny looking war wagon. Uh, <laughs> we've, we've made like a U shaped war wagon. Oh crap. Well, Lado ended up in front of us. There was only so much we could do. I mean, my hot shot is a normal shape. Longbow's Nexus is a normal shape. It will not do. Yeah, now I'm too far back. I can't keep slowing down Longbow. We're going to have to rely on some other, other antics, really, if we're going to catch and pass here. Uh, the Nexus is just going to be out in front, I think, unless something happens. We're on lap six. I mean, there's a few wrecks about. Uh, oh, we clonked the wall a little bit there. Uh, of course, as cars go out, though, it actually makes it... Oh, Longbow, I think, hit the wall down here. As cars go out, it makes it a little bit safer. There are obstacles on the straights, but there are less vehicles driving around. There is less... I say less chaos potentially although I think Longbow is about to drive into a whole lot of it and they did and Longbow is out Longbow went into the back of Crane I think and that just insta killed the Nexus and that is what can happen that is what can happen to a Nexus uh, that is the the downside of the weaker cars well we said we needed some chaos to occur and chaos did rear its head in this one the hot shot has been consistent and been consistently good as well, which is what we need. Uh, oh, there's, I've got to pick my way through. Oh, that got a little bit laggy. Uh, I've got to pick my way through the wrecks. There's a lot of wrecks down here. Uh, we have picked our way through. Ninetales has caught massively because we were doing the slalom through the broken bits. Uh, Ninetales is about the only one that got through it well, I think. Oh, God. Uh, well, that's what's left of... Longbow's car. Mine is still good. My front wheel's not good, but the rest of my car is good. Uh, it, is, it is all manner of, of chaos down there. We will round the final corner. And yeah, it's, me, it's really me versus Ninetales. Uh, Kasia is in pieces. There is what's left of Lado's car. And we will jump and we will cross the line. And we will take our first victory! Uh, <laughs> Of the day. Ugh, it is victory for the hot shots on that one. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of broken bits. There is a lot of broken... Valetade is somehow still running. I'm not quite sure. Giraffes is even worse. Well, Lado's car just can't move. Uh, there is gir <laughs> giraffes. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> We've managed to make a humpback bridge out of a car. It's, it's, uh, that is quite impressive, how, the, the <laughs> it's such a weird angle, it's glorious, it is absolutely glorious, Bumpy's car looks actually quite, quite clean, Stevie's, is, is Stevie's car is in quite good nick, it's just missing a wheel at this point, and Valentine's also just missing a wheel and, and the slow, I mean, Giraffes is also missing a wheel, but, uh, yeah, oh dear. Bumpy is on the podium! Hey, well done, Bumpy. Uh, we, we will take victory. Ninetales is second. Uh, Bumpy does make it on to the podium. Seven vehicles finish, uh, although three were at least a lap down. The C-Class card amazingly made it to the finish, which is not bad for not bad for a raid in full stop, because they're not exactly strong. Um, so, there we go. Uh, right, we will have... We will see what... Uh, Hell Ride does on this level of damage. I'll stick with the cars for now. Uh, I mean, I don't think it's going to be any. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference uh, around here. A huge difference, sorry. Because I think the crashes are. St I think you're still going to. I think you're going to die in a similar way. 
don't normally take many hits to die, even on the intense. So we'll give it a try. I'm going to stick with a hot shot. It seems to be quite good for this. I think it's a good combination of strength and, and handling, is the theory, at least. A Drake, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, say haiku time. Enjoy. Uh, <laughs> Alex, Alex race hard, kills hard sometimes. Uh, Ewan flips many times, crashes badly. Uh, Lado sneaky win. Uh, <laughs> Ewan's flip is still one of my favourite crashes we've had on. Uh, on on this one i mean lado's lado's had some some good finishing positions in this race lado's i mean i wouldn't say it was really a sneaky win at Recknado. lado was out front pretty much the entire time it was uh, it was very well driven on that one uh, also are you betting on how many survive the next race on extreme damage is chat doing the same p.s it's good to get back at cowbell <laughs> one p rules ah the cult of one p is back once more on the nation bar uh we can have a guess at how many are gonna finish Ooh. I mean, I don't, I don't think the extreme damage is going to make much difference compared to normal. I still think we may well only see three or four finish. But that is quite normal. That, that is just normal for this circuit. Oh, my game's frozen a little bit. Um, that, that is just a normal outcome at this track. I'm going to go with three. I'm thinking this is going to be quite, quite destructive, which is why I'm going with the hot shot still. Uh, it isn't my fastest B-class car, but it is heavy, it is strong, and it's better handling than the Grand Duke. Uh, it's, it's not quite as strong as the Grand Duke or the... whatever the other one was, the Trophy Runner, but it is still very strong and it's better handling. The Trophy Runner, I just don't trust bouncing around on the landing of the main jump. Same rules apply to this circuit as ever here. You must take the jump, unless physically unable to, uh, being pushed around or the jump being blocked and everything. You must, you must take the jump. Uh, we will see what happens. Chris, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, so in the US market, Bugatti models... Sorry, in the US market, Bugatti models, the boot has a divider in it, uh, so they don't have to spend money on producing... producing an inside kidnapping release, which would cost less than $25 per car. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Um, the... <laughs> You imagine someone using a Bugatti to kidnap someone. <laughs> like I feel like, I feel like that wouldn't wouldn't be your best choice of vehicle for kidnapping. They're quite obvious, and someone's going to be taking pictures of it, which is not what you want as a kidnapping car. But <laughs> uh, I feel like with like yeah, supercars, it doesn't kind of surprise me. Oh, that's a big flip for Bumpy. Yeah. Oh no, wait, it was lag. Bumpy's made a flatmobile out of lag. Um, yeah, it doesn't surprise me that they're fouled. Well, it's, it's, it's like the reason why the Subaru Brat had those... Si oh, crap, I got lagged by Longboat. I'm so... Oh, God, lag's going on really badly there. Holy... Well, we got lagged and lost a wheel. Um, awesome. I mean, I, I don't know whether we killed Longbow, but we got lagged around. I, I don't know whether it actually comes across very well on the video. Video, like on the stream, on the screen. Um, but as I was coming off that hill, I could not... My car was going left regardless of what I did. Um, so yeah, that's fun. <laughs> There's only so much you can, only so much you can do, um, about that one. Well, we are down a wheel, which sadly means one more hit, one more heavy hit at the front could well see us eliminated, because if we lose the other front wheel, it is game over. Hey, Ninetales and Co. Oh, crap. Well, it was a hit at the front. Thankfully, it hit the front. It hit the side. Oh, Bumpy, hello. Don't mind me. It hit the side. I was already missing a wheel on. Oh, I don't steer anymore. Well, I guess we're going that way now. I'm not, oh, no, wait. We can line up for the jump. That's fine. I. If we jump and we lose the wheel, so the other wheel, so be it. Oh, we're still fast enough to make it over there, which is something. Oh, there's a big gaggle of cars down there. I think that's for the lead, maybe, that group. Uh, we can run up the wall, I guess. I mean, do we reckon we could fold the front corner up in such a way that it didn't really slow us down, the fact that we were missing a wheel? Uh, oh, the driver's 2D. The driver's gone. Uh, <laughs> driver's having a horrible day in this car. I would not want... I mean, yeah. They have They have had a horrible day. It's not that they are having a horrible day. They have had one audit. Hello, Crane. Don't mind me. I might be dead. No. I'm stuck. My car is stubbornly refusing to die. Oh, small man's uh, stock car. 
is very flat. As is that. What? what? I don't even know what that was. <laughs> Whatever that was, it is not really a car anymore. I mean, mine is also testing the limits of what is a car, I think. Uh, is that a wreck of Ewan? No, that's a, that's a crane. Oh, no! How am I still in... Alive. I'm not going to say drivable because it's not re it's not actually drivable. Um, can I? I mean, I don't think I can get up the ramp anymore. Not from a standstill. We've overtaken Cray. <laughs> How is this moving? <laughs> How is this even? How? How are you going? We've made a triangle out of our vehicle. It's very poorly. Um, uh, on Longbow Street, my car looks like a triangle. Yeah, on my screen, it's mostly a triangle. Ninetales' car looks like a car. That's not right. Stevie's car looks mostly like a car as well. This will not do. Um, Crane's car is technically not dead, but also technically not moving. So that doesn't really count. Um, I'm hoping for more cars to DNF, really, and we can sneak our way up the leaderboard. Uh... <laughs> Can I actually even make it over this very badly? But we can do it. Uh, oh, hey Crane, you're gonna have to try and roll backwards. I think it might not have it. Might not even have any drive. Is it Chris in the super flatmobile up in front of us? Because we've only got two seconds or three second gap to Chris, so it must be Chris is in the super flatmobile. <laughs> oh, there's a pink car just falling off. Look at that super flatmobile. Oh God, bumpy. Oh. We've overtaken Chris. It's 30 seconds to Valentine. I don't think we're catching Valentine or Stevie's out. Uh, that's Valentine going there. I mean, yeah, we've overtaken the Super Flatmobile. Uh, we, we are a triangle. We're a sixth place triangle. I feel like eight laps may have been too many. Nine tails. Can you finish the race, please? I'm going to be here a while. Um, yeah, please don't wreck. I mean, Nine Tails' car looks like it's barely been involved in any of the crashes so unless things go weird I don't think Ninetales is going to have any problems it is the only car lapping at any sort of speed at the moment I mean I'm, I'm hoping for others to get stuck oh hey Crane how's it going I would crash into you to put you out of your misery however uh, I don't want to kill myself in that one it's important that uh, we... Oh, we're up to fourth now, because someone else has wrecked. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, it's important that we beat Chris. I say it's important. I mean, it's not. But I do want to beat Chris. Uh, Giraffe is just going to sit behind us, because there's no point trying to do something risky on the jump, particularly. Uh, oh, God. Did not realise there was going to be a car there. <laughs> Giraffe, you, your wheelbase has got drastically shorter. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, Giraffe's the leader. Giraffe's broken down. What's... How? What's... What's... <laughs> how did Giraffe break? So, oh, so Ninetales broke down from the lead. I think what's happening is cars running on the banking are losing their wheels. That is what I think what is going on. Cars running up on the banking are losing wheels and people aren't realising until it's too late. So that's how, I bet that's how Ninetales died. That's definitely how Giraffe lost a front wheel. To me avoiding the banking because, well, I can't really go up there. Um, there's no point in me going up there because I'm so slow regardless. Um, I, w oh, well, hopefully won't lose the other front wheel. Uh, speedy is the leader of the race. Uh, oh, and who is currently behind us. Hello. Uh, yeah, you could probably just follow. You can go past in a second. Uh, <laughs> you've got you've got the right amount of wheels. And... Yeah, well, I, no, you've not got the right amount of wheels, but your car is in considerably more car shape than me. So I guess you can go. If you want to lose your front wheels, that would be funny. Um, however, I think... I think now that there's only four of us running around, I believe, it will be 
Speedy, Valetain, me and Chris are the only cars still moving. So, as long as I don't wreck, we should have a podium. I'm just hoping for... Oh, go on, Valetain, lose the wheel now. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, we're hoping we should, we should be able to sort of make it. Speedy wasn't sure about going up the ramp there. Uh, there we go. We are off the ramp. There is... <laughs> it's the flattest car I've ever seen. <laughs> It is the slowest, it is the slowest race we've ever had at Hellride. Just four cars limping their way around. Four cars limping their way around, so broken, I don't, well, I mean, they could, we could wreck ourselves. We fall off the jump at a funny angle, that's how we wreck ourselves, basically. Uh, hello, Val. Ooh! Well, I didn't go for it, but we have now killed Valatain. <laughs> We've killed so many cars. It's given us a second place now. <laughs> how is this? How has this hit so many cars and is still going? I don't know how it's still going. Speedy has won. Speedy has got victory here. Whatever happens between me and Chris, we will both be on the podium. I think... I think what's happening is all of while we've had a lot of hits on the front of our car all of the hits have been in the corner where we lost the wheel so it's not really done that much more damage to us other than like it's, it's made that corner worse but that corner was already a wreck oh crap oh crap ai limo get out of the way of the ai limo that could ruin our day we might get to lap chris you know that's always a positive <laughs> <laughs> We've lapped the Flatmobile. Triangle is second, Flatmobile is third. Funnily enough, the car-shaped vehicle is the one that took victory here. Uh, Hell ride in probably our dumbest race ever around this circuit. We will finish. We will be second. It is another podium for us. Three finishers. Anybody who guessed... I guessed three, actually. <laughs> well done to me. Who else might have guessed three finishers for this one? I'm going to guess a few. The That other car guy, they guessed three finishers. Uh, Bjork, I don't know if I pronounced your name correctly, you guessed three finishers as well. Uh, yeah, it was, it was always going to be a pretty punishing round, I suspect. Um, but, uh, God dear, there we go. What a... <laughs> oh... What a mad race. Brilliant fun. Um, brilliant fun indeed. Uh, it, yes, P2 totally based on speed and driving skill. It was, it was P2 based on the hot shot was really strong. <laughs> we survived a lot of hits that honestly we probably shouldn't have done. But, you know, it worked. It worked. We got away with it. I shall take it. Uh, right. Shall we go Pine Hills? Let's just go to a, a normal race. For our next one, we'll go back to intense damage as well. We'll, we'll, we'll go away from... Well, I mean, the, the crazy damage is fun. Uh, <laughs> but we will go back to a more normal race for this next one. I like the track. I mean, I like the rally layout of this circuit as well. I do just like the normal track. I'm not driving the hot shot. It's, it's fun. It did its job. Actually, I think the hot shot has got me my... It's been the most consistent finisher, but that's because it's been used for its... <laughs> it's been used for the right events for it. Um... What do I fancy driving around this track? I'm going to go get my hammerhead. Uh, my hammerhead has been unlucky today, but uh, it's been fast in between being unlucky, essentially. So let us hope with the luck. The, the luck might change. Um, I have got a dog currently wanting attention again. Of course we do. Slightly less attention seeking than before. But... Uh, <laughs> He is currently just laid with his head under my chair. I don't know why. I feel like of all the places... You've got two beds in the office, yet what you've chosen to do is lie under my chair. I, animals are weird. Although, if you've watched my streams and, and uh, you know, seen what all I've talked about with the pets, yeah, they kind of are. But there we go. I don't know. Who knows? Regardless, we will have a much more sensible selection of cars 
uh, running around here. Longbow, of course. The, ne the Nexus the Nexus is very fast at stuff, at races, but the Nexus is not very strong. Uh, but we'll probably go quite well here if it doesn't get get killed, which normally doesn't happen on, on a sensible circuit. Super Venoms and, you know, the usual selection of stuff. Uh, nothing particularly. Uh, the Trooper might fall over, to be honest. <laughs> the Trooper might go for a tumble. Uh, other than that, though... A fairly sensible, a fairly sensible selection. Uh, are there any bumps for a road cutter to have problems with? I uh, don't think so. Speedies can be quite fast. Uh, mine, mine's all right. I don't think it, it's a slightly odd, I'd say slightly odd driving style. You got to drive it differently to some of the other cars. It takes a little bit of getting used to, which I haven't had the patience to to learn as of yet. Um, but yeah, we will. We will see. We stand. A, we stand a decent chance of probably getting a fourth place. <laughs> now we've broken that curse a little bit. We've broken that curse a little bit. Eh, we got a win. We've got some podiums. Can't complain too much. We just got to get Chris to ready up. Somebody shout at Chris. Uh, everybody shout at Chris. Sure, why not? Uh, <laughs> if in doubt, everybody shout at Chris. Uh, <laughs> it's always a safe bet, really. Don't worry. Bus racing will come. Uh, it will. It'll actually probably be here fairly soon. Probably have a couple more car races, and then we'll probably go to buses. Um, right here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, the trooper is on the front. Well, on pole position, inside front row. Uh, Valentine's boomer did not get off the line. Shady got tipped across, and well, I came out worst, <laughs> pretty much. From that. So Shady, I presume, got a bump from behind. The killer B being a killer B got tipped across, and yeah, I had nowhere we could go. That is a downside being right on the outside there. Uh, oh, Chris, he's bouncing around in the air. Do not really want that, but we are out the other side in relative, so relative peace. Uh, only downside. Oh, the trooper's gone around in a circle. Hello, Bumpy. Oh. There was never really going to be a gap there. That's a huge crash for small man. I'm going to guess they hit the ditch and got it launched out of that one. Oh, it was a monumental accident. It can be on that corner. It's a really dangerous corner if you get it wrong and bounce it off the ditch. Uh, the sunrise is off into the wall. Uh, Longbow tangled with the wall wagon. Funnily enough, the Nexus unlikely to come out of that, that particular tangle very well. Uh, we can carry a load of speed through there, but we're going to be a little bit stuck in this fight. We might be able to duck underneath some cars here. I've got the speed to make it work to the inside for the next corner. My goal is to try and follow Longbow through. Uh, we might get all three of them. Ugh. Well, it was, a, it was a little bit rude, although it wasn't helped. Uh, Casey, a it was like it was a really small tag, but the little tag on my bumper actually kind of tipped us across uh, into that a little bit more than I wanted to. But we've all got out the other side. Again, relatively in one piece. I've locked the brakes up slightly. Longbow may well be on the inside of us. Nope, Longbow's having their own fight back there. That is fine. Ninetales is leading the way by a mile at the moment. Don't know who is in second. Can't see. Uh, might be Speedy, I think, with that sunrise. Uh, but I don't know. We will be flat through to... Well, I do like this Hammerhead. It's such a nice car to drive. When you get it right... It is a wonderful vehicle to drive. We're going to try and chase down Lado for that podium position before Longbow gets free of all the traffic and chases us down, I think. <laughs> I think this is going to be the fight for third. Don't, I've certainly not got an answer for the top two, I don't think, around here. And I might not have an answer for Longbow in outright pace. But if we can... Uh, oh, no, not going to do it like that. There's a bump there. That was a bit... Whoa bit nasty. Did not have the grip to hold that around the outside of a longboat either, unfortunately. We are trying to get our fourth place back again. I think Lado, well, unless there's a mistake from Lado, I don't think we're going to have the laps to catch up to the Stella necessarily. We'll do what I can. We'll do what I can. Yeah, it was one bump. It's all it took to uh, upset my car. I think we're better through turn one than the Nexus. Definitely better this lap around through turn two. Had to have a huge lift. Uh, <laughs> we still ended up a little bit of a bump with Longbow. Can we make this pass stick down here? We have the grip to get the 
Hammerhead turned in. We sort of block off the line that Longbow was wanting to take on the exit. And we were in front. It's perfectly fair to do. Don't go so far wide. There's a bump over there. Some, I don't know what, quite what bit. We definitely do not want to hit it. We don't want to hit that rock on the inside, and we didn't. We got away with it. Oh, this corner is where I struggle the most, actually, down there. Uh, oh, there is a change of positions behind us. We've now got the sunrise. Going to be having a look. It was a better lap from me that time around. One more to go here. Can we catch a Lado? I doubt it. Barring a big mistake, I doubt we're going to be able to catch a Lado. Hopefully, we can... Oh, stay clear of the cars behind. It might be a fourth place. Oh, Longbow's gone. Something happened down there. Don't know what. Uh, we will get turned in. I mean, the hammerhead's really good through this section. Although I've been maybe a little greedy on the throttle on the exit there, but I didn't. I got very close to tagging the wall, but we didn't. Is the Stella going to find that bump? It does, but it rides it better than I do. So it looks like it is mostly safe out there. We're playing it very dangerous with the ditch. I'm trying to get every tenth out of it that I can, but it's not going to be close enough. Ninetales wins uh, with a huge margin once again. We round the final corner, trying to chase down a Lado. Couldn't do it. Uh, Lado will cross the line and take third. <laughs> oh, and I think uh, Casey may have crashed. Uh <laughs> As Giraffe was up in 5th, Bumpy gets 6th, Casey ends up 7th ahead of Chris, Speedy. Uh, oh, it was Ewan in 2nd with the uh, with the Super Venom. Uh, fair enough. We could match Ewan's laptop. We couldn't match Ninetales. <laughs> Hardly a surprise. But we were around there or thereabouts with Ewan's lap time. Ran out of, ran out of time to try and... Um, catch Lado. Like sort of me, Longbow. Oh, Longbow. Oh, Longbow fell a long way down. I wonder what occurred. Oh, Longman may have had to go AFK or something. Not sure. Um, or maybe it's lost a wheel up there. It doesn't look that heavily damaged, which makes me think maybe he had to, had to go briefly. Um, but, uh, yeah, we were catching Lado just... The, the battle with Longbow just dropped all little mistakes from me. The battle with Longbow dropped us back, and then we just didn't have time to go chasing after Lado at the end of that one. Um... But, yeah, it's a fourth again. <laughs> it's another fourth place. The important positions. <laughs> the important positions are being got. Uh, you were, you were, yeah, you had a good race. Uh, Nine Tails is still miles ahead. <laughs> Nine Tails is just stupid fast at this game. Um, but there we go. Where shall we? Oh, I like this track. I always enjoy this track. Uh, Rossenheim Raceway. Let's do it. I don't know what I want, actually, here. Ah, the curb. The curb betrayed Longbow. Yeah, they do that sometimes. <laughs> the curbs giveth and the curbs taketh away. And more often than not, they taketh away. Occasionally. Um, occasionally you get away. Like, my bulldog can jump the curbs really nicely at that hilltop circuit. Um... And, and, you know, that, as I guess, in some ways, the curb's giving. Uh, but more often than not, the curves will just be mean. Now, the hammerhead, I don't know if it's going to be great here. I mean, it's, it's the nicest drive. It's probably the nicest driving car I have. It may struggle a little bit top end. I think it's the top end the hammerhead struggles with. I mean, uh, that is, is, you know, we're talking only really... Comp I say, don't have a huge amount of information to compare with. It's just from what I remember... Um, in the various races that we have that we have that we have run, don't worry, it'll be buses in a minute. This will be the final of the sensible car races. We've got to have a run around this track at some point. <laughs> I say that this is this and probably Dry Town Desert, uh, two of my favourite circuits on on this one, on the oh, sorry, on this one on this on this game. And because I've said this is one of my favourite circuits, I can almost guarantee you. That means it's going to go wrong. <laughs> it's just, it's always the way. It's always, always the way. If, uh, if you say it's a track you like, the game is going to punish you with terrible, terrible luck. Hopefully we can change that. Or, or we're just going to come fourth. Although, you know, consistency, consistency is good. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have got a dog still with his head under the chair. <laughs> strange dog 
don't quite know why you're still here, but we can give Apollo some fuss. Before we go racing, we just got to get Shady and a Ladasaurus ready to go. Uh, oh, the Super Venom. Uh, do I have the Super Venom? I don't even know if I have one. I should probably build one. <laughs> they are quite good. I should probably get one. I don't know whether I can. There might be a tournament car or something. Anyway, it is racing time. We have a nice spot on the grid. Ewan is on pole. Oh, Nine Tails is alongside. Oh, dog's gone sneezy. There's a lot of sneezes from a dog. Uh, I should have shifted up sooner. But uh, never mind. It's all a bit manic into turn one. Uh, oh. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I apologise to Ewan, not Ewan, Longbow and Co. I did not want to go in the concrete wall uh, on that one. And it has been a bit of a mess. Further back, we are going to pass a Ewan down here. Oh, we were late on the brakes. It's the corner at the bottom. The Hammerhead just struggled to slow down for a second there. So we've got the two Super Venoms in front. We have got to the inside of Ewan, although I do I want to go side by side. I've got to say the nose is ahead. We probably have right of way just about into this section. Uh, Nine Tails has cleared out the tyre bundle. Ewan is going to try and cross us over here and get to the inside for turn one. But you are going to be pinned down on the exit. Longbow's going to try and make it three wide here, uh, which is always a dangerous thing to do. And I think as they made contact, they've slowed each other down a bit. We will sneak past, and Ewan's round. Ewan's off the nose of Longbow's car. I mean, I remember from a recent tournament, me and Danger Man had a tangle there. It is quite easy as the track kind of Constantina's up, uh, especially when I was when it was three wide and I was in, stuck in the middle of that as well, or was involved in that one. It's really easy to get in a little spot of bother. Uh, all right, we're trying to be really neat through here. I'm trying to do not that basically. I'm trying to avoid the big bounce on the wall that uh, Small Man had. I mean, we've caught up, we've caught up to Small Man, although I think Longbow's is faster through that section with the Nexus. But uh, we're doing what we can with our car. The Volvo is quite long, not quite so good for that fiddly section. Oh no, very, very late under brakes there. Not going to stop. I mean, we're going to use the dirt banking a little bit to turn, but then the scenery is going to prevent us from getting a decent exit there, really. Uh, too, too late under brakes. Uh, far too late under brakes on that section. Couldn't get away with it. I mean, we are. Well, I do like the slightly earlier break down here to get the car settled for this change of direction. That that does work for me a lot of the time. Longbow up to second now. Oh, we carried a lot of more speed into there than I, I wasn't expecting to even be getting remotely close to being alongside Small Man through that corner, but we did. Uh, however, not going to be getting a pass. Valentine's not so far behind. They are battling away up ahead, and it is Small Man taking the really wide line. Valentine's going to get underneath, but will probably not have the acceleration. No, we'll not have the acceleration on that inside line as we head towards the final corner. Now, I can't go too early on the brakes down here. Well, otherwise we run the risk of, of being dive-bombed by someone. However, we have made that all work through there. Oh, Longbow a little bit wide at turn one, but you will uh, kind of cut back and get a good exit. Uh, we are past the three-wheeled war wagon that is limping its way around the circuit. Uh, okay, we are now in our third place, which is something. Oh, we will get stopped for this corner. Again, I'm trying to be a bit careful down here. I'm trying to take a more similar line to Longbow, to be honest. It's a less, it's a less dramatic line, but I'm hoping sort of smooth is fast, essentially, is what we're going for here. Uh, okay, again, oh... So early on the brakes there as we lock it up and don't really get it stopped through this section. That's up the wall. That's killed a whole load of momentum. We are going to have a busy final lap, I think. We're going to try and cover that inside as best we can. Valentine goes for a pass. Ends up getting... Ooh, getting past. Eee. Although it's all sorted itself out. What is that? Uh, that's an upside down somebody. I think I'm too late on the brakes at the bottom of the hill. Please get turned. There's going to be a car on the inside. It's whether it's got the acceleration out of the hairpin. That is the big question. It does not. Now, will will someone go for, being the final lap of the race, will someone go for the alternate route in the hope there is a crash in this chicane? Uh, I think 
Oh, no, I think Casey may have crashed on their own. It's a podium for us. We will do it. It's third place. <laughs> uh, I didn't have the pace of the cars ahead. I was driving that was as fast as I could get the hammerhead. Um, I think there was there probably places I could be a little bit braver. I was being cautious. Small man was in the fight for a while. But uh, I don't think that quite had the pace. Either. It was Shady that lost a wheel. Uh, Chris is upside down. Good, good job, Chris. I don't know how you ended up upside down there, but well done. <laughs> oh, oh, Finland's car is, is all sorts of funny shapes, but uh, hey, it was it was a good battle. I think we were a little bit of the uh, and we slowed down everybody for a lot of that. Uh, we were kind of the cork in the bottle. We weren't that far off the pace. We weren't quite as good around there as some of the other cars. Um, you know, we're only talking a few tenths, but yeah, we definitely weren't quite as quick, but we were difficult to pass. So, <laughs> you know, I guess that the plus point, the hammerhead is, uh, is, you know, a bigger vehicle. It was a more difficult one to, to overtake. I'm, I'm happy enough with, with that one. It is, of course, it is bus time. Do not worry. We will probably, my headache is starting to come back, so we'll probably have two, two bus races, uh, to finish off. We are, of course, going to go to the death loop. Now, the death loop, it can be completed in a bus. It is very doable, but you've got to pretty much be flat out from the hairpin all the way around the loop. So you've got to take the loop. In fact, in generally speaking, you want to take the loop. It is slightly faster. Uh, that all being said... You, you you will have to have a perfect run from the hairpin all the way down to the loop. So if you get bumped, if you get nudged, if you get knocked off course or whatever, take the, uh, whatever you call it, the alternate line. Take take the line that avoids, uh, or that, that uh, yeah, whatever you want to call it. I can't think of the right word for it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, take the alternate route, for, for, for lack of a better word, uh, because that is the... Your best bet. If you go up the loop without a perfect run-up, you will fall off and you will be broken. You'll probably DNF out of it. You'll definitely block the loop uh, as well. So, yeah. Bus racing at the loop is wacky at the best of times. Uh, you can loan a bus if you do not have one. Uh, it looks like everybody has got uh, either a stock bus or can loan one. It, yeah. This is Mayhem. It is a... It is a highly destructive race, this one. Uh, there is likely to only... I'm going to guess about six vehicles finishing. Might be a fl It's not as bad as Hellride. It is still highly destructive. And sometimes it can get really, really bad with the buses. It doesn't normally, though, get as bad as, as uh, Hellride. But you never know. You never know. Caleb Reckoning 12 will finish. That would be rare. <laughs> I don't know if we've ever had that many finish. Um, maybe? Normally what happens is someone tries to take the loop without enough speed, falls off, wrecks, and then that causes a chain reaction crash. Uh, <laughs> that's that's generally when the chaos starts. can start elsewhere, but that is normally when the chaos is going to, to occur. We shall see uh, in all of this. We've just got to get some people ready up. Hello, Apollo. Are you ready for bus racing? Hello. Someone's an excited dog now. You're excited to be getting some more attention. Oh, God. You can't sit down. Well, I can't reach you if you sit down there. I mean, you are being a really good boy tonight, which is nice. It's racing time, I'm afraid, mate. You're going to have to stay there. Uh, right. Oh, God. We're a long way back. Uh, here we go. Uh, you can't really do much from this far back in the pack. Uh, it's gonna be, there's gonna be a bit of mayhem in the first corner. I'm happy to go this side. We just kind of stay out of the chaos a little bit, which is honestly what you want sometimes. It does put us on the outside for the hairpin, which isn't necessarily great. But uh, oh, well, I mean, yeah, all you've done there is completely screw yourself over. Uh, I'm not sure if we are going to have enough speed. Oh, uh, well, we're better off than the yellow bus. And I think we may have got pushed around. Valatane almost didn't have enough speed. Didn't really matter as Valatane got hit by uh, 
well, the, the bus that fell off, we are going to sneak past as someone fell over. I, I don't know who it was. That actually has not been the work. Considering considering how things went at the hairpin, I, that, well, I was expecting a worse position at the end of the first lap. Honestly, from the back row to eighth, pretty good. Maybe a wrecked bus on the loop. That is the question. Can't see. No, it looks like it got clear. Looks like it may have survived. Uh, right, can we hook this up? through here. Now the issue for me is we do not have a great run. We should still have enough speed to get around it. Oh, it's on the limit there though. Any slower than that and we would be in trouble. Uh, I didn't go up a gear. Uh, whoops, never mind. Uh, we are sneaking by on the inside here, which should work. Gotta be mindful of vehicles on the jump. Shady is to the front of the pack at the moment, although he's battling away with small man. Uh, there is a big gaggle of buses. I think Ewan, Ninetales, Bumpy are all in this. Uh, there is, is it Ninetales going on the far outside here. Not the worst idea, possibly, although you do leave yourself open to uh, vehicles cutting underneath like, well, like we are about to do here. Uh, the yellow bus is causing all sorts of problems. This is bad news for, I think that is, oh, it's bad news for a lot of us. We might, again, just make it. Uh, it's bad news. Oh, it's bad news. Yep. <laughs> As small man is the only one that had a good time there. Uh, so I don't know. So I don't know who it was. Somebody was slow and it caused absolute chaos for all of us. So there's nothing we could do about it. I should have actually bailed, I think. When I saw what was going on on the... When we made the loop, uh, we should have perhaps bailed knowing that there were going to be buses that weren't going to make it. Uh, and that is the... That is the destruction that occurs. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, you had died in one hit. You can sometimes on the loop, certainly, if you get hit. If you get hit on the loop, you absolutely can die in one one hit. Uh, it's, just, it's unfortunate. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Ooh. I thought we were... I don't know who that is in that bus. Might be Longbow, but honestly, I'm not sure. Valatane is trying to get to the inside here. Oh, dear. There's a gap there to aim for. I don't know where the gap is going to be on the exit, though. Oh, there's still a gap there to get through. We have made... Oh, it's Finland Ball. That's the one. That's who is... Uh, who we are now trying to chase down. So we found that gap on the loop. It's about one bus wide, but there there was a gap. I think it's now since been moved or improved. So as we head on to ooh, the next lap, Valentine's chucked that in way too fast, almost fell over through that section. So small man leads. We can see them on the loop. Oh, they've fallen off. Small man might be about to DNF. Uh, small man's out. <laughs> yeah, I saw... I saw the, the, the lack of speed on the loop, and that was always going to be troubling right there. Uh, okay, this is about to be a really big problem as well for everybody here. It is one bus wide on the exit, on the dismount. We found it! We found the one bus wide bit! I, or well, me and Finland Ball actually both made it through. <laughs> I think the loop might be blocked. I think the loop might be finished. Uh, that looks done to me. Uh, <laughs> we've, I mean, we've got a pretty good view of the state of that, and I don't think anyone's getting through it anymore. I don't know if Crane and, or Crane and Longbow have both had to bail because they've lost enough momentum. They wouldn't make it anyway, but I don't think the loop is passable anymore. It does happen with the buses. That is Im impossible to do. <laughs> you cannot complete the loop anymore. <laughs> it has been blocked. It's been a while. It has been a while since we have had a good full, uh, like 100% loop blockage uh, in this race. Uh, but that has happened. Uh, Longbow has taken victory. Well done, Longbow. Crane is second. Crane gets on the podium. Nicely done. We will cross the line. And it's another podium uh, for us here it will be third place. Uh, I couldn't have expected much more than that, I don't think, considering the race started badly. We we, we survived a falling off of the loop. <laughs> Me and Longbow's lap time, very close. Uh, did anyone go far? No, Longbow went fastest. Ninetale, I mean, Ninetale's got wrecked. I don't think Ninetale's lost a wheel quite early on. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, what a... 
What a manic race. What a manic race. It's still a good number of finishers. Bumpy is alive still on uh, <laughs> uh, on, on a, a very poorly three-wheeled bus. Bumpy is still going. And we'll cross the finish line. We'll make it. How many actually survived? Eight. Eight buses survived. More than I might have expected. Did anybody guess eight? No, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> Uh, Charles guessed seven and Zav guessed nine, so, you know, <laughs> but no one, no one, uh, no one guessed it. Apparently, almost busted the loop with better wild damage. That's impressive, to be honest with you. That is, that is quite impressive. Um, mine, to be fair, mine was okay with the loop every time. But, uh, yeah, we just lost out, we lost out early on. We got stuck in one of the loop shenanigans early on. Which uh, which dropped us back. It is time for the legendary, the most spectacular of races. It is Hellride. The rules are simple, the same as they always have been. For Hellride, you must take the jump, if at all possible. Uh, there is more likely to be nudging and buses having to take avoiding action on on. On the jump here, just because of their sheer size. Uh, I recommend, you don't have to, but I do recommend that you extend the gear ratios in the bus to maximum. As it will make the landing of the big jump considerably nicer. It makes it just a considerably more reliable in terms of its uh, uh, landing. Seeing as we're all in, in a one make race thing, yeah, you, you're going to want to extend the gear ratios because it'll land properly. Um, this is going to be destructive. Do you have chat? Go on, have a guess. Have a guess how many vehicles are going to finish this one. It's normally pretty destructive. This is about the most destructive combination of track and um, vehicle that we do. Admittedly, the extreme damage was a little bit different, but uh, yeah. To have a have a guess. Three or four is probably not a bad shout. Oh, we're a long way back. I have a feeling we might be not be making the ramp on lap number one. We'll have to see how it goes. I mean, like we'll try, but the, when you're this far back, the pushing and shoving and bumping around does often end. Uh, we're all on to the jump successfully. Oh dear, we are between shallow and bumpy. I had to have a lift through there. Oh, okay. Well. I can see something going the wrong way. Well, not the wrong way. There's no technically wrong way here. Um, we we have we have we have a route that we take. Oh, that's a tremendous accident for the yellow bus. Uh, okay, well we are not going to be going fast enough for this jump to be nice. Uh, no. Oh, well we got a hit. I mean, a few vehicles avoided the jump there. That's fine. That's understandable. It was so crowded up there. A few got pushed away from it. So it's, yeah, no big surprise. Uh, we will run the banking here and hopefully make up some sneaky positions. We're going to try and follow Ninetales uh, a little bit. We're on the outside of Crane. Uh, we can maintain this momentum. I need to get the overlap. I need to get clear of Crane if I can, which I believe we have done. Although Crane with a good exit here. Uh, we are, uh, we've all sorted ourselves out as we head towards the jump once more. Everybody is neat and tidy. Longbow leads the way from maybe Ewan? I don't know. Up there. They've got a bit of a gap on the rest of us. We're heading straight up on the wall. It is... You're slightly slower on the way into the corner, but you're way faster on the exit down here. Oh, well. I <laughs> uh, got no choice. Speedy ended up... So Longbow fell off as well. Yeah, we got sent that way. And um, there's very little that uh, that I can do on that way. If I fight that, I think we both fall off. So yeah, <laughs> a little bit sneaky. Not well, not sneaky. wasn't uh, wasn't what I was going for, but is where we were put. So what more can you do? It's actually kind of an incentive not to put your fellow opponent off the ramp because you don't want them being able to get that advantage. Although leading the way or being further up is no guarantee of a good time here, because there is a very good chance you're going to hit something like that on the ramp. And that might be... No, it's not the end of us. We actually didn't take all that much damage. The only problem is it's locked a wheel up, but... I mean, we're still good to go. 
that could have been way worse. That could have been so much worse for us than it actually was. Uh, we're going to have to hope that the attrition starts kicking in if we're now going to have a good, you know, a good finish. But, uh, oh, okay, we are still fast enough to get that landing nicely. That's kind of the main bit to me that matters. Uh, the thing I have got to watch out for is the front left wheel is locked, which is the wheel I do not want to lose. Or sort of locked. I don't know. It's not really fully locked, but... Yeah, we've got to be careful now running this banking because that could well see the wheel come off. Uh, we've got off the banking nicely there. This is going to be a dangerous place. I think it's that Nine Tails. Yeah, Nine Tails is avoiding the centre ramp. Probably a good idea when there's a lot of buses carrying a lot of speed. Ewan is going to have real trouble staying on that. No, Ewan's got away with it. So Ewan's got a lead. The problem for Ewan is where, where Ewan is in, on the track means you're constantly heading towards this gaggle of buses at really awkward places, which is not what you want. Giraffe has fallen over. Uh, there is a long line of buses heading up towards the jump. Uh, are we going to make the landing? No, not quite. Uh, it's because I was stuck behind Shadow, who was not quite going, has not quite got the momentum that was needed off there. Uh, there's a whole load of things have fallen over. Ewan's about to run into a lot of it. We're up in ninth. We need a miracle from here, but this is Hellride. Literally anything can happen at this stage. There's been a crash between Shadow and Smallman, I think. Uh, we will run up on the wall as much as possible and get off the wall. Oh, we've got a clonk on the dismount there. We've got momentum here. Let's hope no one's coming towards us, otherwise they're about to be in for a bad time. There is someone coming towards us. Oh, it was Ewan! We have again been hit on the ramp and somehow not had a tremendous death. And I think Ewan got away without a tremendous death as well. How have we got away with that twice? You barely, you don't normally ever get away with once, let alone twice. That's amazing. That is genuinely amazingly lucky for this circuit. Are we going quick enough? Just again. When I mean, Ewan's lost some time, Ewan's being chased down by Valentine there. Uh, <laughs> right, up on the side we go. So we're trying to chase down uh, Kezia, which is possible. Uh, maybe. Maybe. But who knows what's going to happen on the jump now. Uh, okay. There is... Oh, well, there's an accident for someone. Are we going to be clear up here? I think there might have been... I think the leaders were forced off the ramp. Fair enough. Because uh, we didn't really run into them. We've still got good speed, considering the damage on our... Or considering everything that's happened. Am I going to have enough room to take this jump properly? Yes, because we've got a clear run. Oh, shadow twisted in the air. We're going to avoid them too. We're going to make up a couple of positions, which puts us eight now. Uh, shadow, unless we've, we might have flipped shadow in all of that. Uh, <laughs> we got the jump nicely and shadow was bouncing awkwardly here. That's why you need the extended gears to get that, um, to get that landing basically. Oh, okay, we're off the wall. That's fine. My front left wheel still in one piece. We are... Oh, Ewan with the big jump. Valentine following. So they are mm, sort of clear of the pack. It's actually quite a big number of buses still running. My fear is we're going to get another great runoff of here, but I'm not going to be able to use... Oh, yeah, we're not getting up there, are we? <laughs> I'm not going to be able to use my speed. I'm not even going to make it onto the ramp. It doesn't matter. We've lost a wheel. Uh, <laughs> we weren't going to be able to do it anyway. We lost a wheel running too high on the banking, I'm going to guess, is what killed that front wheel. It wasn't even the wheel that I was worried about. It was the other one that's gone. Uh, yeah, I mean, you will pass us. I can't steer away from this because I've lost a front wheel. So, yeah, we are a three-wheeled bus. I do not have a huge amount of control anymore. Oh. It's fine. Uh, oh, hello, Valentine. Well, Ewan's obviously had a bad time somewhere around the last lap. I think Ewan is minus a wheel. Uh, <laughs> Ewan has got onto the ramp. We've moved up a position, so I'm going to guess somebody's out, but ninth is looking like the best. This is the most buses we've ever seen, I think, getting close to finishing one of these. 
I mean, it's, it's very, very impressive to have this number of buses make it towards the finish line. Uh, we are unfortunately... Oh, I mean, we're going to finish, but Valentin takes victory. Yeah, we're going to finish here, but we are... Oh, God, quite poorly. Oh, Longbow. I think Longbow got fired the wrong way around the, uh, the final loop uh, <laughs> and ended up in in front of Speedy. That will help us out. Might steal us another position right at the death even if there's only so much that we can do with our vehicle. That is a surprising number of finishers. The fact that there are at least 10 or 11 still going is uh, very unusual. In fact, it was 11. 11 finishers around here is probably the most we've ever seen in buses. That is incredible. And I joked about Caleb being ambitious with 12, but Caleb is closest. Uh, I think it was Caleb, wasn't it, that guessed, that, that guessed 12. Um, yeah, bloody hell. Uh, I now can't go and find it. The closest I can see is Stephen with 8. Uh, I had a feeling... No, it wasn't... No, Caleb guessed 4. I swear someone guessed 12, but... Uh, that would have been, would have been more accurate. Uh, <laughs> oh, well. There we go. There we go. The bus mayhem was actually quite calm at Hellride. It was worse at the it was worse at Deathloop. What is going on? What is going on um indeed. Well, that was some wreckfest. Uh, I okay. I'm going to end the stream, i say, a little bit early. Actually, thankfully, I didn't have to end it too early. My headache is, is definitely on the way back, so I am going to end it now before it gets any worse. Um, but we've made it most of the way through, which is good. Uh, we had some good fun racing. We spent a lot of time in fourth, um, but we got some podiums. We got a victory with a hot shot. Uh, we've had some good fun. We've had some good times. It is, uh, it's always good uh, back on on Wreckfest. Yeah, been some some very successful uh, some successful races, some fun races, some close battles, and, you know, some big crashes. There we go. You're a little bit delayed on that one, buddy. You have finally said hello, just as the end of the stream. I know. It was nearly your bedtime, dog. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed this evening's stream. We've certainly had a good time here. Uh, of course, a very, very big thank you to everybody who has donated. It is very much appreciated indeed. Uh, and, of course... Uh, a big thank you to all of you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed your Friday evening, afternoon, morning, whatever part of the world you might be in, uh, for for today's stream. I will be back on Sunday, uh, probably doing some more Party Animals, because uh, that was great fun last week. So yeah, we'll probably be back on, on Party Animals for the... For the, for the Sunday, for the weekend stream. So I hope to see plenty of you uh, there for that one. That, though... It is going to be it from me. Until next time, a goodbye.